Hello, everyone, Hello. and welcome to episode 12 of We Can't Promise This Will Be Good. This is our season finale, as well as our three-hour spectacular-thon. Yeah. And I would just like to point out that our two crazy fans are outside. Oh, my God. And they are waving and wiggling. We and have screaming fans they, outside. They are outside waving, just like this the Today Show. Um, oh. Uh, <laughs> Zila it's is now good. flashing them, and it's Whoa. great. Whoa, you can't <laughs> mention people that are in the room until we've introduced them. Oh, okay, so... That severely hurt my nipple. So, um, t- on, today's, on today's oh, episode... Hold on, uh, i got to turn on the mic. Yeah, on today's we got... episode, we have our special guest, Tim Sheehan. Say hello, Tim. Howdy. And we also have a returning guest, Zila. Howdy. This is going to be great. Um, so, we have a three-hour-long show today, Michael. Three hours. Dear God. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what we're thinking. Um, but we're going to be we're going to be joke. doing a lot of, we're going to be having a lot of fun. Yeah. Um we are. so mm-hmm. without further ado, do we want to start off what? with our uh, Yeah, let's let's get into it. I mean yeah. um so is yeah, that a, we, is that a Yule log crackling in the background? That is. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wanted I wanted to uh set I thought that was feedback. No, I wanted to me. set the mood. So we've that's, got It's very nice. Could you, you put a pine log on? You instead? might also notice chestnuts audio roasting on a. You might also we don't, hear we don't have the rights fire. to that. You might also <laughs> I know it's public wind. domain, but we don't have the rights to. That. All right, Jared, you want to put Jack your headphones Frost on because ASMR on your nose. they're just not working for me. So, Jared, guys, Jared's in charge of audio today. Um, awesome. Which is going to be great because um, Ooh, my, it's my cold. headphones. Yeah, the wind yeah. is blowing you hear the wind? in the you hear the studio. Wind? I've, I've replaced. Ooh, cracked open the I've replaced our usual smooth jazz with some wind and a crackling fireplace. It's pretty awesome. We were gonna do a bit that we this whole show was being recorded inside of a log cabin in the woods, but I only remembered that right now, oh and I, as I'm talking about it, so we're not gonna do that bit. Oh man, oh. that was almost gonna. Uh, what, but yeah, what are we gonna fill the other two hours and fifty eight minutes oh, with? We have, we a, have a schedule. Oh, <laughs> we have a schedule. That's good to know. So um, um, we have Tim here. Yes, and yeah. since Zila has been on the show before, the interview is going to focus mostly on Tim, as oh, he is the geez. new one. Um, Zila, you can ask yeah. questions every once in a while if you oh, want perfect. to. perfect. You're allowed um, to speak. You're allowed oh, to speak. Okay, good. You have that, you have that right. But I have Tim, the but, 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 but t- Tim is more important right now. Of course, yeah. naturally. So. He is the prettier one. Uh, Tim, ah. to get this interview started, uh, we want to ask our uh, most famous first question. Uh, what major are you here at the university, and why did you choose the University of New Haven? Oh, good question, good question. <laughs> Thank you, Zila. Thank you for your feedback. Um, so, I was a psychology major, but I am taking the plan to switch and be a full-time theater major. Um, Another theater major on the show, who'd have guessed? Wow. Yeah, right? <laughs> but not yet. Um, so... Um, I, I guess what made me choose this school is its uh, interesting uh, majors and the, the campus was so warm and welcoming and inviting and I just really felt like, you know, I, I belonged here. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> is this a pitch, Tim? Is this a pitch? Yes, yes, Kaplan, please, please <laughs> give me money. Um, but no, really, I, I liked campus. Um, uh, I had gone to UConn. I was like, oh, yeah, that seems nice. But then I realized how gigantic UConn, and I was like, oh. Yeah. It's also probably not a good idea to go to university with con in the name. <laughs> <laughs> you were conned. Yeah, you conned. Really. I got, got my headphones to work also. Here's oh, a really? wolf. Yeah, the go wire fetch. is being weird. <laughs> okay. Which is really, that's really nice that my wire is already being weird. I bought these headphones today. Oh, man. Yo, dude, good but job. You got the, you, yeah. I already have to bend the wire a certain way oh, for it to work. That's so annoying. I bought them today. But yeah, oh, no, man. I, I like the campus, and um, I know my friend had gone to see Rocky Horror my senior year and I asked them how that was and they said it was like so good the theater there is so amazing and I was it, like oh alright I'll check it out it was a spectacular performance and I, went on, and I went on multiple uh, trips mostly for the psychology department and I was like yeah this is nice and then one of those uh, ones I went to an open house for theater and I met Jonathan uh, our director and one of our uh, many teachers for the theater department and I also met Michael well, oh yeah I met Tim on my my ex, like explore UNH day nice. for yeah. accepted students. Yeah. And we did we met Jonathan Yukich and Tim did a scene with my sister. Yeah. Nice. Because we didn't have an even number of people there for the nice. theater stuff, so my sister did a reading with Tim. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 No, it's yeah nice. no, um, and I, I, I like it here. 
That's good. Yeah, and no, I wasn't I wasn't able to be a, a part of the Rocky Horror production. Um, yeah. I auditioned, but my audition was crap because I didn't know what I was doing at the time because that, that was my first semester so when you here. you say weren't able to be a part, you mean you didn't get cast. I didn't get cast. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to make myself feel better still. Yeah. Um, but no, the, the cast itself was amazing. Um, it was a lot of fun. I actually, I was able to help out a little bit. I actually, I was... <laughs> For being a freshman who didn't know he, what he was doing, I was I was put in charge of building the platform that the narrator stood on, and I was given the materials, the tools, and the people needed, and I figured it out. That's always <laughs> the, good. The narrator didn't get hurt, so I consider that a success. Hey, yo. Shout uh, out to Zach Rabko, the narrator. Uh, yeah, he was, he was great. What a delightful um, man. But yeah, no, so thank you, Tim, for giving us that wonderful insight. Um, so before we go to the questions we always ask our guests, besides that first one, we do have some questions from our audience. Already? For Tim. Yeah, we have two questions. Nice. This one comes to us from Leah Myers. Um, oh, yes, my drum Tim, major, which I know. <laughs> Wasn't he one of the fans outside? Uh, no. no. A, ba- a band-themed question. What's your favorite tree you've warmed up near? <laughs> uh, my favorite tree? Um, that's a good question. Um, it sure is. There was one tree uh, that was all red leaves, and we named it Paige because one of our saxophone players at the time, Paige, had pure red hair. Okay. Uh, and that was pretty funny. But I think I think my favorite tree um, had to be, I think we were in, I think we were on our three-day trip. We might have been. Uh, we might not have been. I wouldn't be surprised. It's all a bit of a blur. But, um, With all the drugs and whatnot. Yeah. Yes. All the hardcore cocaine I was doing on band. Um, the hardcore cocaine. Um, but it was a small tree. It had. It's like one of those trees where it like branches off into like other smaller, yeah. but still thick trunks. Uh, but it was a very small tree. I can't imagine it was any like maybe two feet taller than the ceiling. Um, I love how in-depth of an answer we're getting about warming up next to a tree. No, it's important. And ah. Oh, Jared. <laughs> Jared's been shot. <laughs> we need a new host. We need a medic. No, I was... I was uh, uh, squick, I switch was, majors. <laughs> I was... I was just, Jared, what happened? <laughs> I was shifting in my seat, and I was kind of standing up a little bit, and I just smashed my knee into the uh, into the, 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 the counter. Hey, Jared, next uh, time, don't do that. I, I'll do my best. No promises. All right. Um, so <laughs> Back to Tim's very important story. Um, it was a pretty skinny tree, and it had no leaves except for one at the top. Okay. I I I felt like it was very self-reflective of myself, yeah. and I related. All right. That was, a good, that was a really good question. <laughs> We've got another question Ooh. from Timothy Michael Gadomsky. Nice. Uh, um, the other Tim. Tim, what is your least and most favorite musical or play? I'll say both. Favorite play, favorite musical, fav- least favorite play, least favorite musical. Ooh. Um, we like to talk about theater on this show. Uh, Who'd have thunk? Now, is this like range from things I've listened to and watched? Is it just. just the- what's your favorite? In just in general. <sighs> it's a hard question. There it's- are many shows that I love that I've never seen. Yeah. Um, mm, it's an unfair question. This is a hard really. one. The right answer for both, by the way, is Oklahoma. <laughs> Yo, you want to get out of get out of my house? Okay. <laughs> we, we we have to build the brick wall um, early today, folks. <laughs> I, I I will definitely well, say um, that uh, my favorite musical, and just forgive me for this, Michael, but I Tim, um, don't don't say the words. My favorite musical has to be don't say it. Phantom of the Opera. Get out of my <laughs> get out of get out of my swamp. I liked I liked I liked the music. Um, like, if you ask, if anyone asks me this, my favorite kind of music is that something I can put on my headphones, and when I turn it up, I can feel it in my body. Just the music blasting into me. Just listen to EDM. I have several bands. No, EDM is garbage. (laughs) Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Um, Phantom of the Opera is one thing. (laughs) Saying EDM is garbage is a whole other thing. That's um, a war you do not want to be a part of. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, but yeah, no, I liked I liked Phantom, Michael. Okay. Um, What's your least favorite musical? Ooh, mine's Phantom. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Nobody asked you. And musical. Oklahoma. <laughs> uh, my favorite, my least favorite musical has to be a chorus line. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Jonathan, don't kill me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jonathan doesn't. Uh, Jonathan's a big fan of the show. Uh, my my least favorite musical has to be without a fact. Uh, without a fact. Without without a doubt. Uh, what was I saying? I don't know. That's a hard one because I haven't really had a musical while I watch it, and I I hate it. Mm-hmm. There Oklahoma. are parts of musicals <laughs> that, like, uh, that'll confuse me. But I think if I if I you know what I don't know I don't really writing. have one, so I'm just gonna throw out Cats because that's that's okay, a popular that's one a to solid say. Answer. Even though I actually do right. enjoy Cats. Now let's um, go for your least favorite play. Um, my least favorite play has to be The Crucible. Um, Interesting. I I have mixed feelings on The Crucible because um, I was in it. I, the concept but is I really it good. So Taking but the Salem it, so Trials much. is a really good concept. Yeah, um, and Arthur Miller is a great playwright. It is. It is. You know, Ar- like it is Arthur Miller. The, the Crucible fam- as a play is the a famous good play. it. The is writing. A great the writing is good. The you concept is good. It. What I hate about Everyone the Crucible, knows it, the movie and the book are based on Arthur Miller. <laughs> uh, what I hate about it is definitely the characters. Okay. Um. Just, just the concept of everyone just going, you know nuts about the witches and stuff like I can understand that yes for culturally you know that's like that's what happens yeah like it's about the culture and the religion and everything like that like yeah I get that that doesn't mean that they're smart people no I like John Proctor as a character yeah I hate Abigail yeah Abigail is what ruined that play for me I hated her she was like a weird, adultering mixture of DW and DD, like that annoying young girl that you just wish was dead. Wow. Did you just connect wow. the Crucible to Rugrats? <laughs> <laughs> no. no DD is from Dexter's Lab. And DW, oh. and DW is Arthur. Yeah. In your 90s. Oh my god. I was thinking, I was thinking even, the two twins from Rugrats. Even like a what are their names? And Phil and Lil and Phil. Phil. I haven't seen that show in so long. Even oh like goodness. a mixture of Sarah, Ed's younger sister from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Okay. It's just like all those younger sisters from cartoons that you hate all got funneled into this girl, Abigail, I'll throw who Will in gets there very, also. very adulterous. Everyone knows Phil was better than Will. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, goodness. I hated that. I sound so like the, a fool so now. The, see, you do, Michael. The so ending we're, was really yeah. good. We're, we're going to take attention away from Michael's embarrassment and shame. Uh, so, Tim, what is your favorite play? Oh, the play that goes wrong. I saw it this fall break. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was yeah. hilarious. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> it's great. Go see it. It's like I don't just have a bunch of slapstick things. British comedy. Yeah, it's that's fair. I know, like, I, from what I know of it, I would love it to bits. I'm just poor and lazy. <laughs> Spoilers, it, everyone. It's the like, play goes wrong. It's um, it's very my, mighty Python-y. Yeah, it's mighty 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 python. Mighty, 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 mighty python. Mighty python. Mighty python. Mighty okay, I don't sound like guys. Oh, I don't man. sound like a fool. Anymore. I, I didn't do I didn't do my uh my uh, warm ups uh before. I'm just gonna do them right oh, now. Oh, let's do our like. warm ups, everyone. While, while he's warming up, I think this is a good as Rubber time as baby any. buggy bumper. Going on a lion hunt. I think, <laughs> I think this is a good as time as any to uh, bring up our corporate sponsor. Uh, today's show is brought to you by Andy's Mints. Andy's Mints. The Minty ones Python. Give, oh, Minty Python. <laughs> the ones they give you at the restaurant that you're like okay with. It's not the ones you wanted, but you'll deal with them anyways. <laughs> Thank you. That is their full slogan. That's it's a very important sponsor. Also, Zila, very important. Thank you for being good at projecting because that mic is picking you up beautifully. Yeah. Oh, yeah. great. It's um, as if you're on a different mic. <laughs> so, so I think, um, Michael, it's time for us to build the massive brick wall in the middle of the studio yeah. and ask the uh, the question that has uh, broken build friendships. Build wall. All right. Yeah. So, well, this, or do we want to do the other one build first? Build the wall. We gotta say. Build the wall. No, 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 no. We gotta. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's do the. We'll, we'll we'll wait on the one that breaks friendships, and we'll go to the fun one. Michael, Tim, what is your worst experience with cheese? Ooh, ooh, that's a good question. I know it is. Um, that's why, we that's why I ask it every time. So, this might just be a, me being a dairy thing. My mom says that I'm partly lactose intolerant because I didn't have enough of it as a kid growing up. Yeah. Um, uh, dairy and milk. Milk specifically. Um, milk. But, um... <laughs> Good reference. Um, sometimes, if I just eat too much, I just get really bad stomach aches. That's why I don't have grilled cheeses very often. So I have a grilled cheese with, like, like the American 
cheese that you get from like the deli and stuff, and mm -hmm. I just That's like not slap real on cheese. two or three slices, yeah. and I just eat that. And like half an hour later, I'm like, Ugh, I don't feel good. <laughs> All right, such a great, such a great experience. All right, Jared. Okay. I think it is that time. The question that has uh, the question that is the reason why Michael and I secretly hate each other. It's not a secret. We hate each other. We hate each other so much. I can't even look at him right now. Don't you, look at me. You haven't looked um, at him once this whole session. It's awful. <laughs> um, Tim. I'm not looking at him right now. I'm just pointing the camera at him. Tim. Camera. Which do you prefer? It's my phone. <laughs> red or green apples? Red. Ah, Whoa. you didn't even hesitate. Red. I win. Whoa. I do not I like win. green apples. I, I do not like sour. I, I would just like to sour point apples. out the They're fact They're not sour, though. It's it's a taste It's like a tart thing. Like. It's a tart thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, Maybe okay. green apple candy, but... So, so Michael, have you been keeping a tally? I keep saying I'm going to. But we haven't. I think... That's what I'll do over break. I'll awesome. go back and listen to every single I, episode. I think, and this will be... We'll have to confirm this once the numbers are crunched, but I think Red Apple's won for the semester. It absolutely oh, did. Red Apple's won for the semester. Thank you, Tim. That was... I'm, was I, I'm, I'm sure I was the tiebreaker. Definitely. I'm sure I was the no. MVP. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure it, it seriously wasn't even close. I'm, I'm, <laughs> sh I'm, I'm sure it had nothing to do with the two guests who just didn't decide. Yeah. I'm mad at them the most. Uh, no, Erica and um, Jacob. Jacob. Or they they Blaramy. Blaramy. You guys Blaramy. suck. No. Wait, Blaramy. Zilo, no, what, they were was, awesome. what was your choice as to uh, the apples? Oh, I said my favorite was uh, Honeycrisp, which is red. But right. it all depends on what you're using it for. If you're using it for a pie, you don't want to use red apples in a pie. It'll make it too wet. You're going to want to use green apples. He was the most intellectual answer, which yes. we also appreciate. Well, Zeal is also the smartest person I know. Yeah. That, that is a very appreciative but also incorrect statement. Zeal is also the only person I know. <laughs> there we go. That's much, that's much more accurate. So, wow. That, um, that was great. Thank you, Tim. So, um, no what problem. I think I want to do now, um, so I'm going to... We still have more time for our interview, mm -hmm. um, but I want to say goodbye to Facebook. Okay. okay. Uh, for those of you who are listening and who don't know, we were actually doing a Facebook live stream. We've been streaming on Facebook since this like time. two o'clock, yeah. two fifteen ish. It's been great. Uh, we had a lot of fun. But it's. I think it's time to go. It's time it's to go, real boys. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, bye, Facebook Live. Bye, Facebook. We bye, love Facebook. you. Facebook. I don't. Oh, it, it's okay. There we go. Okay, it's finishing. Awesome. So, just yeah. Gonna, hold on. I just got a text from my mother. Twins from Rugrats were Phil and Lil. Yeah! Wow. Darn, Michael. <laughs> wah, wah. I'm hurt. Thank Listen, you, Mrs. I'm, Dog Mom. I'm aware. A blessing. I'm aware. I just, I made a mistake, everyone. And we'll never let you live that Can't down. Can't a boy make a mistake? No, he can't. You have to be perfect at all times. Well, I am perfect. We all know that. Except, well, okay, that's think, fair. Is this another time for a corporate sponsor? I have seven, I'm sorry. <laughs> Sure. Wow, this, right. this, this just show. says the live video has been paused, but I definitely ended it. We'll figure that out later on the music break. But yeah, no, Zila, All if right. you have another sponsor, yeah, we'd love to uh, hear this it. This show is also brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts, giving your loved ones diabetes since 1962. Of love course. It. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, Dunkin' Donuts is a rampaging beast. Yeah. There are approximately six of them. There are probably six of them within like 15 minutes of my house back home. Yeah, there's, oh, also, yeah. there's also they're everywhere. A well known fact that for yeah. every person on Earth, there is at least 3.5 Dunkin' Donuts. Every yeah. person on Earth. Every person on Earth. Yeah, no, I believe is that. Is that true? Yeah, and there's still a line. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's it's so interesting because everybody just goes to the same one. Yep, <laughs> it's it's yeah. not. Tim, do you genuinely think there are more <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts on Earth than people? <laughs> Can we forgive me about Phil and Will now? Yes, I honestly think we can. Tim, your face of a shame is so heartbreaking right now. You look so innocent and naive. It's really quite sad. Hey, you know, Josh Lodge can make anyone believe anything. That's so. a very good I'm, point. I'm Zilla. I don't know if you've noticed. I'm not Josh Lodge. I'm not handsome and short. <laughs> handsome and short. That's true. Those are two <laughs> great words great to describe Josh Lodge. Absolutely. He's not even short. He's just shorter than you. <laughs> well, I'm Actually, taller than him. He's shorter like than all size. of us. That oh, is no. true. Yeah, yeah, I guess I for a true. guy, he's relatively short. Then again, short. the average height in this room is what six foot two. Yeah. <laughs> How tall are you, Tim? With Tim? I'm six feet exactly. Tim six, six is bringing two, it down. Six Tim four. six six four. Six three. Six three. I'm six three. Yep. So six three is the average. Like a six point two five. Six point two five. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, okay. Trust me, apparently I'm the smartest person in the room. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, go oh goodness. Did you not do that? <laughs> Sorry. I don't mean to. How are you even... Oh, there it is. All right, please, please, please stop making the, the squishy noises. Is it picking up on the mic? I have no idea. It sure is. Yeah. No, please, please stop. stop. Please I will stop. remove your feet. So... Uh, also, I just did the math. It is exactly 6.25. That hey. is the average. Nice. I hey. said it first. So, uh, call me Michael. Todd Green. Do you White have any other questions the... for Tim? Um, I mean, oh. we, we got the staples. We got the staples. If there's anything else, what do you have a question? Zila, do you have any questions for Tim? Uh, yes. What is your opinion on Tim Hortons? Tim Horton hears a who? Nope. No. No. What? No. I mean, <laughs> Tim Horton hears a who? <laughs> I need. I need Tim I need Hortons <laughs> to collaborate with the Dr. Seuss company. As a matter of fact, why you asked me that? Like, oh, yeah, that? Tim Hortons hears oh. a who? Oh, goodness. <laughs> Tim, go back to bed. I went to sleep at 5 a.m. and woke up at 12. Why? Awesome. Because I was watching a and d TV show, and it was getting real intense. I was telling people... I was, I was, no. I was, I was telling people about that on the uh, Facebook stream right beforehand. It's doing great. Um... No, but no, back 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 to Azila's question. What do you, what do you, what is your opinion on Tim Horton's the the not 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 the book? <laughs> it's not even a book. I know. It's a bre- it's a, it's a coffee chain. <laughs> it's a coffee chain? Yes. Never heard of Tim Horton's? I've never been. No. Okay. Well, Isn't it mostly in Canada? First, yeah, it's mostly. Yeah. In yeah. yeah. They are, they have them in, in the Northwest. They have them in America. Yeah. I've never been many. to almost all the coffee shops not I've been to in my hometown are either Dunkin' or local coffee shops. Yeah. Shout out to one of my local coffee shops, Green Beans. My friend Danny Basales works there. Shout out to this you episode just, of you just We Can't Promise This Will Be coffee? Good. No, it's spelled, it's spelled G-R-E-E-N-E-B-E-A-N-E apostrophe S. This awesome. episode of We Can't Promise This Will Be Good is brought to you by Green Beans. Yes. Uh, um, they, have, they have this thing called Nitro Coffee. It's like pouring gasoline down your throat, but it that, that's so the entire better. slogan. Is that their slogan? They no, have this I, thing I, called I, nitro I, coffee. I'm gonna fill you guys in on something. I make up these slogans on the spot. What oh, we know? Yeah. Are you telling me you're doing improv on this show? I, I whoa, whoa. Actually, that's also a lie. The Dunkin' Donuts one is premeditated. I thought of that on my way here. Dude, oh you, gotta, you gotta pay attention gosh. to the script that Michael wrote for us. Zila, oh, I'm sorry. yeah, I'm, okay, I'm yeah, everyone. This entire this. show so far has been completely scripted. Like word for word. Like even 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 us talking about the script. Like my, my knee hitting the other. counter. Yeah, that was yeah. a sound effect. It was great. That I wasn't real. That so hard. So we're coming up to our first music break. We are. Um, and so I just want to let y'all know that uh, we are doing a lot of music today. We have a lot of we music. Have three hours. I was so build. close to getting Gucci Gang on this playlist. I. <laughs> very and we cl- didn't let it happen. I decided against. So it. it's gonna it's gonna be very. So guys, let's very- uh, let's get out, let's get out of this storm. Let's get let's get away from the storm. I don't even hear it on my headphones. Oh, I just. He we, just turned it off. I mean, I didn't turn it off. We walked away from the storm. Yeah. Head. Oh, we just walked away from it? Okay. Yeah, we went inside. We We've went been inside. recording it outside this This is time. me walking. <laughs> you, sound like, ah. you sound like that line of... I'll just close the store. <laughs> okay, that needs to as stop. I, that needs to as stop you uh, right just now. open, open uh, soda. <laughs> Guys, I uh, undo my my buttons and my my jacket. Guys, this is and this I is some water. <laughs> okay, this is turning in. This is this is welcome to our new ASMR radio show. So um, <laughs> we're we're gonna be listening to a big chunk you of music. Are, you are enough, Michael. Michael, what what can we expect to hear in this Christmas music? music. Chunk? That's so vague. Awesome. I don't want to talk about it. Okay, well then, there's a lot of Christmas music. We're just By getting, the way, we're are we recording all of this show? Yeah, oh, we're recording the whole all thing. like the whole thing, not even just the improv oh, bits. Yeah. Tim Horton hears a who is becoming a meme. <laughs> <laughs> God yeah, damn it! I also didn't put the copyrighted music underneath the conversation because I want to put as much of this episode online oh, as we possibly can. Yeah. Is the Yule log copyrighted? No, no, it's <laughs> in the public domain. Uh, all four of the songs that I'm doing right now are, or not right now, but all four of the songs I'm performing are copyrighted. So you okay. guys owe me but that it's... standard act fee, you know. Cool. Okay. <laughs> not yeah. cents per song. It's nothing yeah, yeah. much. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Just throw a quarter my way. I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> okay, so we are going to uh, take a quick break, listen to some Christmas music, then we'll be back with some more fun stuff happening. Yeah. So stay tuned. Welcome back, everyone. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the music. Uh, um, la- ladies fun. and gentlemen, we can't promise this will be good. It's brought to you by Pentatonic's Holiday Album. Pentatonic's Holiday Album. Because apparently there's no other Christmas music. Oh, my God. Well, someone's Thank very, very much. passionate. Tim's a little upset about this. <laughs> wow, Tim. Tell us how you really feel. Guys, I Jesus. personally, I... 
I love pentatonics. <laughs> That's not true. Oh, and you and you love Phantom and Cats yeah. and Oklahoma and, and Oklahoma, Oklahoma. and, and SpongeBob thing. the Musical. Well, let's not get carried away. <laughs> Bunch of musicals trash. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Did you guys. Do, do... Sounds like somebody's at the whoa. door. Go let him do we, in. Do we Is have that... a chimney in this building? No. Merry just... Christmas, oh, my. children. Oh, oh my. That, guys, God. it's Santa. Santa. How are Santa. all of you beautiful children my, doing today? I mean, my mom told me you weren't real. Your yeah. mom's. Say it. Don't let her call me anymore. <laughs> Oh. Her, I don't have her number. Whoa. I come bearing gifts for wait. all of wait, my Wait, but I didn't children. even tell you what... another can of black beans? I can't wait. Did you get a can of black beans from Santa? Yeah, last year. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, wait, wait, Santa. Bring it up, Tim. Santa, <laughs> how'd you bring us gifts? I didn't even ask you for anything yet. How did you... I know what you want. Listen, it's you? right here in my bag Listen. of magic. Santa, there's not a lot... I want for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. Tim, you can. If you finish that sentence, I will throw you out the window myself. And I. We are. Tim, we are which in. Which list do you want to be on? We are in I the presence of royalty. Of right here. <laughs> that one, could sir. easily go right up your Tukish. Whoa. Whoa, well, you turned into <laughs> Sean Connery when you said Tukish. <laughs> so, Santa. For a lot of, like, gray hair. Are fat. you Irish, Santa? <laughs> Why is Santa Irish? I am all around the world. I develop many accents. You good? Okay, Santa. Mon. Um, so Santa, um, what, what, are you, what are you doing here? I've come to bear gifts. Your show has been a tremendous joy to all of my elves. Wait, I really? I'm bearing gifts wait, to wait. give you. Wait, you listen to the show at the North Pole? Of course, we have internet up there. Oh, that, that, that explains sure you... that explains one of like the, the that's the, explains the fifth viewer that we've never been able to figure out who it was. It's more yeah. like 15 billion viewers. But it's all through one radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. All, yeah they, have, they have ears. They, they you just, play, it you yeah. just play it. I can't hear a damn thing. You just project it through, you well. just play it through the workshop yeah, speakers? Much, yeah, that's yeah. really I'm, cool. Well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm excited I'm, that you're a fan I'm of the show. Honored. Of I'm course, honored. And I come bearing gifts for each of you. Which one is named Jared? Oh, right. He's never, you don't see us during the show, so he doesn't know which. Wait, I want him to guess. Yeah, which one of which us one's is Jared? Which one's Jared? You! Who are you pointing at? You pointed at both of us. <laughs> Santa, Santa. some slack here, right? S- Santa, Santa. You know how Santa. long it took me to get here? I am severely jet lagged. Santa, this guy's Jared. Or I'm, sleigh I'm, lagged, as this I guy. like to say. I, 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 I'm, I'm waving my hand profusely the one in, the, in your Jared. direction. The one in the Star Wars sweater is Jared. For you, I bring... A used bottle of Listerine. Oh boy, it's what I always wanted. <laughs> he really gave you. He a legitimately used bottle just handed me a bottle of Listerine. <laughs> Thank you, Santa. For 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 Michael, I assume that's you. It is. For Michael, I bring. But don't assume my gender. Knife. <laughs> oh. Thank you, Santa, for <laughs> this. It, 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 it almost looks like a knife from Bartels. <laughs> And is this knife? Is this knife from Bartels? No, it's from the North Pole. Do they have Bartels in the North Pole? They, of course, Sodexo owns the planet. <laughs> you, you have Sodexo at the workshop? Of course. How else are you supposed to feed fifteen million I can, elves? I can tell this is a Sodexo knife. I know them anywhere. I'm not gonna feed them good. It's very cold though. It was definitely from the North Pole. Of course. And for Tim, I bring. Oh, Tim. Our corporate sponsor, Uptime. <laughs> Uptime. It? It's it's it's. <laughs> Hold on. Can I see that, Santa? Of course. Just one one second, because um, Uptime is actually a sponsor uh-huh. for today's episode. So yeah, um, this episode of We Can't Promise That This Will Be Good is brought to you by Uptime, the mental physical energy supplement with ginseng, ginkgo biloba, and coenzyme Q10. Whoa, whoa, Santa! Only the finest. Only the Santa. finest. Are you- are you, are you giving me steroids? No, uh, this isn't for you. I lied. Uh, you're going to get... <laughs> oh, that's for Santa. Uh, that's Santa for Santa to Santa stay awake. Yeah, that was just a present. cheap plug. Santa's know? started deliveries Those nine days so early. Free, you know? Or eight days early. Uh, he needs the Tim, energy. I bring a rabbit hedgehog. Oh, oh my, my god! Wow, that, that is, is a rabid hedgehog. Very foaming. Oh um, my god! Uh, unfortunately, Don't Tim... get it near your jugular! 
Wait, um, Tim, it's about to bite your arm! Oh, no! Oh, okay, oh, okay. Get it, get it, get it! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh! Wait, what let me stab you? it with this knife! Uh, I can, uh, I can uh, put uh, Listerine into its wounds! What the uh, uh, H, man? Okay, uh, Santa, 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 we just killed the hedgehog, I'm Santa, sorry. Santa, yeah, I saw! Santa, 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 Santa. I, I just want to thank you for giving us the uh, lovely tools of death you gave us. Yeah, we used clearly you no, enjoy them. The, the the knife was really good at making you sure that it didn't. You gave me a knife, Santa. And what you did gave you want me, me to Listerine do that is mostly alcohol. What you don't understand is that all the gifts are related. Wait, how? I don't know. Figure it out. What? No, <laughs> they're, they're, they're they're all tools of death. We have alcoholic breath wash. We have a knife. We have a rabid hedgehog, and we have a bottle of poison. <laughs> That's Indeed. and that, so, my friends, did is you, the true Santa, meaning of Christ Christmas. Did you come here to kill us? No. I don't. I, I don't. I don't think he likes so our show, Michael. You could kill each other, Michael. Michael. Oh. Michael. Michael. I don't. I don't. I well, don't think he actually likes the show. Well, Tim is. Santa. Tim's. Tim's out of a weapon. So. Wait, guys, can, can I ask Santa? Oh, Zila, oh right, yeah, Zila. Of he, hey, hey, Santa, Santa, did you bring Zila anything? Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, I, I got, I got $10. Wow, I, Santa. I, I think that'll do. I, I w That's oh, easily the best present. Zila, Zila, Zila. Here Zila. you go. Z Zila, that, Zila, that's, Zila, that's... Zila. Zila, do, do, you, do you want this Listerine? I will gladly, no I, Yankee swap. Wait, how is, how is, how is Zila going to use that? Is he going to like give someone severe paper cuts until they die? No, the real threat is capitalism. Ah, so we need to use these <laughs> gifts to fight capitalism? No, capitalism is the poison. Yeah. I'm a corporate invention. Ooh. Well, guys, he just, he just faded into nothing. He's, bye, Santa, I Bye, guess. Santa. And that's what, the what true meaning of wow. Christmas. Um, wow. Gosh, that was, that was surely um, something. Yeah. Um, so, who do I contact to get rid of the dead head ho hedgehog? Um, no, you have to take it home. Yeah, it's yours. Uh, are, are you going to finish that? No. Okay, cool. Do you want to use this knife to cut it up? Yeah, okay. uh, and if, uh, you can kill some of the bacteria in it with this Listerine. I'm not supposed to drink Listerine, you Jared. Pour, you, pour it, you pour it on the thing, and then when it burns you everything, you it pour it Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, you shit, you'll flick off the Listerine. So I can flambe this hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that smells awful. <laughs> I don't think we're supposed to have open fires in the studio. Here, blow it away from the smoke alarm. <laughs> okay. All right, that's good. We're good. All right, now let's all just let's all let's all dig in. Ooh. Everyone, take a piece. Ooh. Everyone, just really chew oh, into your microphone. Has a really nice aftertaste. Mmm. Mmm. Like uh -huh. People are gonna over. love these sounds. <laughs> oh, oh God! Man. Stop. Hey, so, what are you vegan? Come on, try some. Oh, what was, are you vegan? <laughs> that was interesting. Tastes <clears throat> just like a uh, a sample at a. Uh, Guy Fieri restaurant. It's just <laughs> like your mother. Whoa. Whoa, Santa. 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 Do, do not, do, Santa. do not bring Mrs. Sheehan into this. I'm yeah. sure she's a very nice woman. Uh, she is. Probably. She's probably listening to this too. Uh, I don't oh. know actually. I oh. sent her the text and she didn't respond. I'm very uncalled for. So. If, if you, if Mrs. Sheehan, if you are listening, um, I apologize profusely for everything your son has yeah, done I on this show. Um, it is not my fault. And also, in life. Tell, tell <laughs> him, <laughs> him to a Tim Hortons. And he smack needs... him upside the head for saying so. Martin guys, guys, I want to like, I just I want to talk about it for a second. Um, a big part of Christmas is the movies. So like, mm -hmm. I want to just go around like talk about like what are our favorite Christmas movies? Can I go uh, first? Yeah, Jared, go first. Um, my favorite Christmas movie, of course, I have to be that jerk. My favorite Christmas movie is Die Hard. Okay. Um, takes place during the Christmas time. Even the second one is also a Christmas movie. It takes place on Christmas Eve. Um, it has a so good it's a Christmas comedy. Eve movie. Yes. Christmas season. I understand what you're getting, yes. but but like I don't Christmas know, has, Eve is a whole other holiday. It has it has this combination of like holiday spirit and like uh, guns and action that like every <laughs> so girl holiday boy spirit, needs. And holiday spirit, and and yippee ki yang, and it's glorious. And there's a lot of great references to it. So I think honestly that has to be my favorite movie. Zila, Zila? how about you? Oh, uh, my favorite Christmas movie without a doubt is The Ref with Dennis Leary. Okay. Oh, Just, it's, it's, it's why. A, because it's the epitome of everything wrong with Christmas films. Interesting. But then it just it takes that and just turns it into like a very anti sitcom esque fashion. All right. Kind of like that show It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah. That I never ever talk about or make memes about. Yeah. All right, Tim, favorite Christmas movie? Star Wars The Last Jedi. 
Oh, wait, That's I not a Christmas movie. Uh, Can I change my answer? No, too late. Okay. Um, okay yes, you can. So a, a real, a real, a real, a real Christmas movie that I thoroughly enjoy. Um, ooh, actually. Um, if you say Elf, I'm going to personally throw you out of this window. No. Elf is great, though. I hate that movie. Oh, I love Elf. I love Elf. It bothers me so much. Um, it was good when I was either, 12. either Christmas Story, because I watch it every year with okay. my family. Oh, I hate that one, too. Okay. What? I can't stand it. Um, either that or Merry Christmas, Charlie Brown. Okay. Fair enough. I'll say mine I'll, is, um, it's a tie between two. So one of them is a very Harold and Kumar 3D Christmas. I've heard wonderful things about it, but I have not yet Neil experienced. Because Neil Patrick Harris is in because it. Because right? Neil Patrick Harris is in oh, it. I love the Harold and Kumar movies so much. Um, the the Christmas one is especially great. Neil Patrick Harris is dead in it, and then he comes back to life. Because um, if you remember at the end of the second one, Harold and Kumar escape from Guantanamo Bay, um, he dies, and then he comes back to life in the next one. Nice. Um, and uh, my other favorite. Um, I wanted to look deeper into this one because I think it's one that we can all agree is possibly the single, it might not be our favorite, but it's the single greatest Christmas movie ever made. And that is a little movie called The Santa Claus starring Tim Allen. Oh my goodness, you are so right. Um, So what I wanted to do, guys, I want to really talk about this movie. So what we're going to do now is we're going to watch, we're going to watch, everyone listening is just going to listen to the trailer for the Santa Claus. Are we allowed to look at it, or are we supposed to, like, ASMR this? Um, you, can, you can come here. Everyone can uh, come over here and look at it. ASMR means? <laughs> Autonomous sensory, sensory meridian response. I was asking him, but thank you. Because I actually knew that. All right. Anyway, so uh, we're going to so uh, enjoy the trailer to uh, Santa Claus. Yeah. All right. Very enjoyable. That was... Wow. I haven't seen... I don't think I've ever actually watched the trailer... To the yeah. Santa Claus because it came out when I was so young. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when we were all yeah. so young that we didn't need to see the trailer, we nope. just saw it. Just saw Actually, the movie. We were all unborn when that trailer. Yeah, came out. 94. 94. Um, I was ooh. not. I mean, Jared's uh, twenty-seven, so he might have been. Older. <laughs> Jared's forty-eight years old. <laughs> he it's acts been. Like he's 62. Jared directed the Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> I was the Santa Claus. No. Um, um, excuse my, me. That uh, was Mr. Tim Allen. I know. My favorite part of that trailer was when Tim Allen. Got released on parole for a, uh, possession of cocaine and then <laughs> made a movie. Yeah, that was really nice. And then starred on a show with him grunting that somehow lasted for several years. I, was, that was before the Santa Claus. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Home so. Improvement. I'm sorry, it's not. I'm not perfectly canonical. Hold on, we gotta look into this now. We do have to look into this. We gotta find out exactly when Home Improvement <laughs> so premieres. So, for, for for those of you who haven't seen the Santa Claus um, before, you need to. For, oh yeah. Um, for everyone who was wondering, Home Improvement ran from September seventeenth, nineteen ninety one, to May twenty fifth, nineteen ninety nine. Yes, yeah, so that is long. Wow. So it was still it was still going when the movie long. came out. Oh yeah, it was like halfway through. Wow. Nice. That is needlessly long for Home Improvement. So, so Home Improvement so, didn't need to exist. So Michael, um, why 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 did we uh, why did why did you want us to sit through this again? Um, well, I first off, I just think the trailer for that movie is incredible. It's it's, been, it's in every way marvelous. It was, it was certainly unique. Um, and it just, I just wanted to remind everyone that that movie exists. Yeah. yeah. That is a real... And there are sequels. There are sequels. I think there, there are, are two. Three sequels. There are two yeah. sequels. Yeah, there are three total. Yes. Yeah. It's a trilogy, like Star Wars. Yeah. Well, Or the yes. Lord of the Rings. Yep. The just as, it's just as good mm-hmm. as and any cars. of those. Like Peter Jackson, I think, directed all three of the Santa Claus. He did. Peter Jackson <laughs> directed the Santa Claus, the Santa Claus 2... And the third one was like a co-directorship with uh, J.J. Abrams. Right? Yes, so that was Santa Claus. Santa Claus Three: The Escape Clause. Santa Claus Three: yes, The that's Last right. Player Escape. What was clause. the second one called? Uh, was there a, like a? I think it was just Santa Claus Two, right? Uh, yeah. Well, now we got to find out. No idea. Because the third one had Jack Frost, and that was a, that was that was just. Yeah, that I mean, was. That was a bust. Wasn't that Martin? That was Martin Short. Yeah. yeah. As Jack Frost. I'm gonna pretend. I, I remember. remember that. It was just called the Santa Claus Two. Nice. And then there was Santa Claus Three: The Escape Clause. Interesting. Santa Claus Two was the one where Tim Allen was like made of rubber for half the movie, right? <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. I yeah, there was like the rubber Santa because like he he left the North Pole to go find a, a woman. Mm-hmm. And then oh, they right. they left like the fake one there yeah. to take over, and then he like became like. Evil. He became like Che Guevara by the. He looked. <laughs> he looked like Che Guevara by the end of it. Absolutely, it was. He was literally dressed as like a rebel, like a militant. It was great. <laughs> it was. 
It was quite a show. Like, I, just just watching that trailer, so much happened in the Santa Claus that I completely forgot about. My yeah. my question is, how okay. are all the elves like Let's get into this. small, tiny people? But then that one teenager elf is like older and taller than the rest of oh, the elves. Oh, Bernard? He's going through puberty you mean at, Bernard? At like 20, yeah. Years. Why do I remember his name is Bernard? I don't know. Um, That's a rememberable name. Um, I don't. Yeah, I, I've never really understood that because all the other elves were played by children. Right. Mm -hmm. And then him. I think he's just meant to be like significantly older. Or it's like a Buddy the Elf situation where he's like. Not, not actually an elf. He's just a he's human a that lives at the North Pole. He's a half elf. He's a half elf. Because like there was the one Santa little Claus girl that he was <laughs> that he was drinking hot chocolate with, <laughs> and she's like, what did he say? She was like twelve hundred years old or yeah. something. Yeah. Like that. That's some and weird she's... lolly anime stuff. I'm not gonna get into. And she's seeing <laughs> someone. She is seeing someone. Yeah. Which is, I mean, that's a weird line to make a child yeah. say. That, it was it was a weird especially movie, especially to Tim Allen. <laughs> <laughs> His response was. <laughs> Roy Moore played. <laughs> That's no, yikes. <laughs> yikes. Michael, let's let's we we went through twelve uh, episodes getting as little political as possible. Please let's not oh, start I'm it now. Sorry, I have a very political song in this. I Roy Moore, That's the fine. Santa Bama. I, I want to talk no. more about Politics. Bernard because, um. <laughs> Let's not forget you you, that, you remembered the actor's name. Let's not forget that David Crumholtz played Bernard, and he's like a fantastic actor. He's the name sounds so familiar. Yeah, hold on. Who, was, who else was he in? Hold on. Let's let's look into this because he's had some amazing performances. He was obviously in Adam Family Values. Um, he was, he was the Santa Claus. One of his first big things was the Santa Claus as Bernard the Elf. He was in Ten Things I Hate About You. Um, he was in uh, Sidewalks of New York, Santa Claus 2, uh, Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. That explains a lot. He played their Jewish friend Goldstein. But then he suddenly became like a really great... Wait, because was... Krumholtz wasn't Jewish enough? He was, yeah. he, was, he was in Superbad? He was in Superbad. He was in Walk Hard? Yeah, Walk Hard, the dude He was in Harold and Kumar Escape from Guantanamo He's Bay. He's been in all of the Harold and Mr. Kumar Popper's movies. Penguins. There's the big he was in Hail Caesar. Sausage Party! Yeah. Who was he? In Sausage Party? Animal? Sausage Party, he was Kareem Abdul Lavash. Oh, he was the the flap? Mm -hmm. I guess. I haven't actually seen that one yet. Me neither. I've heard yeah. wonderful things. That's terrifying. But he's like, he's an excellent, excellent actor. Yeah. And I just think it's hilarious. He got that better with age? He was in the Santa Claus. Another, well, another thing that really frustrates me about that movie is, um, yeah. you know how Tim, where it's like the wife of Tim Allen and then it's... Ah, uh, the stepdad who's the psychologist. Oh, yeah. God, I hated him. Really? Yeah. Why? Because he's just like, remember, son, Santa isn't real. It's a figment of your imagination. I'm the clear antagonist, but instead of showing it, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I'm not going to show you with action. He was an ass. Yeah. He was such a dream crusher. And what, like, because his dreams got crushed, too? Like, no. What was it like the the little like whistle thing that like yeah. the Oscar Mayer thing wasn't that his remember. whole thing? Probably. I don't remember. I don't remember. I, don't know. I just hate it. That Is it was... too late to change my answer. About what? About my favorite Christmas movie. Yeah, what's your favorite Christmas movie? I think I'm gonna have to go with recently what I've watched. I think my favorite Christmas movie is the entire season two of Stranger Things. <gasps> what? <laughs> what? It's not a Christmas movie. It takes place around Christmas time. It takes place around Halloween. No, it's the first season, I think, right? I no. I have the second I season. They go, go they go trick or treating dressed as the Ghostbusters. That is uh, very true. Please don't explain too much. I am only like a few episodes in on the. <laughs> so first you've season. already you seen. Can... If you've only a few episodes in, you've seen that episode. It so, was the second um, episode. So of season one. I'd like to change oh. my answer again. They um, went guys, trick or treating. Guys, guys, um, you can talk about it all you want because I have never seen any of them and I don't plan to. Oh wow. Okay, I lied. I watched the first two episodes of season one. Thought, okay, and then just kind of stopped. <laughs> all right. All right, I, t I take back my answer. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it as the ref. Okay. And I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I'm only saying the ref because it's my mother and brother's oh, favorite movie. Wait. And I wanted to give guys, a shout out. Shout out to Julie. We're, we're forgetting the most important Christmas movie ever. 
What? The Star Wars Holiday Special. No. And now we will watch the entire thing. No. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> Half of it is in chewbacca ease <laughs> Or Wookiees. I'm sorry. Wookiees. Wookie Come on. Chewbacca is not the race, Zila. He like, is the I'm man. Chewbacca's I'm son so... just like making these weird squeaky oh. shoe sounds. I'm such a Wookiee. I'm then... sorry. <laughs> Wookiee. And then we, like the... Chewbacca's dad just going. <laughs> rrr, rrr, rrr. And then Chewbacca's son going. <laughs> Just oh man that that special that di- that didn't exist man. I'm Harry I'm, Fisher coked out the entire time. I just uh, I Mark really, Hamill's I'm, accident scars barely covered by a hackneyed makeup job. Oh my Han Solo God. contemplating suicide throughout the whole. Episode. Oh my goodness. I'm I let's just episode. let's just pretend that 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 never existed, please. Oh, it's my. Favorite. Oh, I'm man. still I'm still convinced that the entire population just like Matrix Fever dreamed it and it doesn't exist. It has exist. been so long since Dude, I watched they, that. There was oh, so I much watch money spent in recalling all the VHSs. <laughs> I want to watch um, it again. Um, I I know someone who still has a copy. Oh. I mean, you can find it. You can find it online. Well, like, like we, I like they have the VHS. Yeah. <laughs> they can't make you give it back. I know. Yeah. It's it's they're just keeping hey, it for man. like shame value at this point. <laughs> yes, Tim. No, never mind. We said we weren't gonna get political. <laughs> yeah, let's try not to. Let's try not to. If you like songs played on the guitar about the holidays. Do we have a treat for you? Because now in studio, he's been here the whole time and we've heard him talking a lot. But now he's going to sing some songs. So him and Tim are going to switch spots so yeah. he can really get into it. We uh, have get on over to the other side. You might remember Zila has been here before. He was on episode two of this very show. Hey, but we invited him back for the Christmas special because Zila has written... He's going to perform four Christmas songs for four us right Christmas now. Four Christmas songs. Three of them entirely original and a cover. Mm-hmm. Zila, take it away. Like what? I, don't, I genuinely don't know what's about to happen. All so. right. Uh, well, I got to preface the fact that every time, every time in the tradition of this show, I've taken the liberty of writing these songs right up to the deadline. Like started this, I think, four days ago. All right. Perfect. And we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna I go crazy. It, uh, we're gonna go crazy. Way. We're just gonna we're just gonna hop right into this, this first song is about that special feeling you get around the holiday season when you get a gift and it's just you know <laughs> yeah. it's like one of those not what you want yeah. gifts that you just it's mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this song is called lovely and then parentheses excuse me what's your return policy <laughs> all right we're gonna, we're gonna start this with a cool chord all right here we go <laughs> Oh, 
come look. A new beanie baby, a blockbuster gift card, a collection of parts, a slightly used mouth guard, a pregnancy test, a lock of someone's hair, a beta max player, hand me down underwear, some melted lip balm, a can of fancy feast. I don't even own a cat. <laughs> A borrowed covering book and a four pound bag of yeast. How do you think this is what I want? I'm curious. Didn't you check with my family beforehand? I won't even pretend that I love it at all. You failed this holiday. Try again next year. You failed this holiday. Try again next year. You this holiday and try again next year oh my god it's you know it's it it's lovely wow that, I'm, I'm glad to announce that they do not have to cancel their show next month. that was that was, that was actually right. pretty good that was I, think that was, I think that's my new favorite christmas song oh, to be entirely okay. honest oh, yeah okay. all right so we're going to just move right along to the next one, though. Right, yeah, so, Zila, are. take it away once again. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, okay, hold on. Oh, I love, I'm losing it. Okay, hold on, okay. okay. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Is this one of those moments where you actually just realize that you wrote this song and about to perform it? Yes, live? yes. Okay, Perfect. Okay, okay, okay. So, this is a song. It's... I didn't want to. I didn't want to just bash the whole Christmas theme over our yeah. heads. So I, I did my best, and I tried to write a Hanukkah song. Okay. God. But there's, God. A, there's a couple problems with that. One, Where's Adam? I'm not Jewish. Uh, two, I don't know anything about Hanukkah. And three, oh, I don't know anything about Hanukkah. Oh, I love where this so is going. So I could have very well done some research and then put together a nice campy Hanukkah song, but instead. I just went with it. <laughs> I'm ready. All I right. Made, okay, so I made sure that my whole, my mission with the song was to make sure that it was it was as l- lace. It was it was. I tried very hard to make it not offensive, but very clear that I don't know what the fuck Hanukkah is. Okay. All right. So this song is called Hanukkah, spelled H A W N I K U H. No. Are you guys ready? No. I uh, know you're not. Since 1920 And over the years Hanukkah grew weary 
and sent out more powerful But Hanukkah knew that he still had some strings left to pull And he said to Santa, I'll tell you of us continuing to fight for the same holiday we form a treaty in a way that neither of us will pay you can keep the 25th in exchange for splitting my holiday into eight days or more nine maybe can i make it like 11 no no, 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 you know, let's just, let's just stick at eight. eight it's, it's a nice round number. It's, it's, it's a good one. And Santa adjusted his belt and said, I couldn't care less. <laughs> Why don't we just flip a coin before we start to obsess? And Hanukkah rose up and said, I've got a better idea. Why don't we just spin this tab? And I found at Ikea. The deal was set, and each side got their way. They went and shook each other's hands, and everything was okay. Hanukkah in celebration dances, famous Torah aura. But he danced too passionately and knocked over a menorah. And when normally they should have burned down, maybe one home went on to burn down. Total of eight homes, and Hanukkah just shook his head and said, Oh, isn't that ironic? But he meant to say a coincidence, didn't you, Hanukkah? Now, every year with our menorahs to light eight candles a night. In memory of the Honorable Hanukkah and his selfless fight. One for his abs, two for his heart, and three for his strength. And the rest of them are just there for fun. And the middle one is there to symbolize his dick of incredible length. Dreidel. <laughs> oh. Okay. Holy <laughs> God! <laughs> that one was an adventure. Oh, it's an epic, indeed. So. Okay. All right. Awesome. That's some tenacious D levels of writing there. Oh, I know. Oh, uh, I thank you so I'm much. Impressed. What's uh, what's what's next on the docket? Uh, the next one is my political song. Oh great. It's not like it's not like a f- Trump. No, it's like uh, it's a. It's a song about the recent bill that passed. You know Probably the one. stole net neutrality. Yeah, the net neutrality. So. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know if I could do this one without laughing, but I'm going to do my best. This one's right. called Throttling Down the Christmas Tree. <laughs> Throttling down the Christmas tree, what a... Hold on, we got to refresh the page. Here, let me just... There we go. Throttling down the Christmas tree, what a buffering holiday. All right, let's refresh the page again. All right. <clears throat> Throttling down the Christmas tree, what a buffering holiday. Everyone's pounding va- <sighs> All right, we gotta refresh the page again. Oh, great, it's an ad. Do you feel sad sometimes? Do you want to feel sad all the time? Come on down and ask your doctor if dead puppies is right for you. All right, we can skip the ad now. Here we go. <laughs> Throttling down the Christmas tree, what a buffering holiday. Everyone's pounding violently on the keyboards this time. Hey, woo! Your trial version of Throttling Down the Christmas Tree has expired. To continue the song, please sign up for the music streaming package on sale now from your service provider for just $4.20 a minute. Click the link below to sign up now. Thank you for listening, and have a happy holiday season. Beautiful. All right, and this last one. This last one's a cover. It's uh, by the man who name of Bob Rivers, 
my lovely yeah. mother and father showed me the song when I was like eight or something, and it's a parody of Here Comes Santa Claus called There's Another Santa Claus. And we're all going to be joining in. And it's a sing-along. There's another Santa Claus, there's another Santa Claus, there's another Santa Claus there. Everywhere you look, you can escape, there's Santas everywhere. Bells are ringing, children screaming, something doesn't seem right. His beard is gray, and that's a nice toupee, but his eyebrows ought to be white. There's another Santa Claus, there's another Santa Claus, there's another Santa Claus there. One at the mall and one in the window, sitting in a velvet chair. Fat ones, skinny ones, tall ones, short ones, cheeks so rosy and bright. That Christmas cheer smells a lot like beer, call Santa Claus a cab to that. Where's the Santas? Go! Oh, 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 oh I'm, I'm, I'm Santa, Santa Claus, all right. Some uh, really nice presents for you. Oh, I am. Uh, I'm a I can't sweater even you'll only be able to wear. I can't drive then. my sleigh home. I'm plastered. Uh. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Wasn't that the point? I, I guess. I had much better vision in my head. Jeez. <laughs> you guys really let me down. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Just, just saw Santa, Santa Claus, Claus, just saw Santa, Santa Claus, Claus, just gave a Santa Claus change. Drove downtown at a bell ring and Santa Claus hit me up again. When those sleigh bells jingle jangle on my rooftop tonight, will my chimney be backed up with Santas all crammed in tight? There's another Santa Claus, there's another Santa Claus, there's another Santa Claus there. Everywhere you look, you can't escape, there's Santas everywhere. Bells are ringing, children screaming, something doesn't seem right. His beard is gray, and that's a nice toupee, but his eyebrows ought to be white. Thank you very Incredible. much. Thank you, Zila, so much for those yes. um, inspired that was, uh, musical selections. That was delightful. <laughs> um, Goodness, that I'm was... Gonna, I'm going to have those recorded. I didn't think I'd get such a positive feedback. Wow. Wow. I'll it's, make it's, those available sometime before Christmas. It's definitely a very specific style of music that you have to enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I would say so. You have to like parody, and you have to like ridiculous. And luckily, yeah. you are in a room with three people who enjoy Absolutely. that, and Michael. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so what are we, we going to be tackling oh, next? My mom just said, wow, just, comma, wow. That's, <laughs> I couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> Are you proud of me? <laughs> this is what my tuition is paid for. <laughs> oh no. So let's like talk let's talk about Christmas music for a second. Okay. Because I have it's some very really easy to write. I have <laughs> some very strong feelings on Christmas music. Yeah. Um my strong feeling is that I hate it. Mm-hmm. I can't stand most Christmas music. Yeah. There's in this playlist we have there is one song that I like. It's my favorite Christmas song and the only Christmas song I, I truly enjoy. And like we'll get to it. Okay. Um, it's beautiful. Um, I'm, I'm just a big fan of Trans Siberian Orchestra, just because they are just a beautiful amalgamation of all of the best things that anything yeah. can be. So all all of the the TSO songs in this playlist are because of me, because that's the only Christmas music I listen to. And yeah. they don't do just Christmas; they have actual normal albums too, and it's amazing. Yeah. That was my two cents. Yeah. Yes. Do you like? Do you have a favorite Christmas song? Um, I don't want to cop out, but I also love Trans Siberian Orchestra. I saw them once when I was ten. And unfortunately, I got a stomach ache, so I missed most of the first act oh, and like no. half the second act. But I made sure to come back in time for Wizards of Winter to see my eyebrows get burned off by the fireworks display. Oh, it's, you guys it's have beautiful. Ever been to a TSO concert? It is nuts. It is, it is. like Kiss is babe, the band Kiss, and they're oh we we do pyrotechnics. They are children compared to the technical and fire attic TSO work. TSO goes yeah. nuts. Yeah, it's pyrotechnic. That's what I'm looking for. And well, it's, we, we it's, have that song on this playlist. We do. Oh it's one of my favorites. It's my Just because... We or, don't have or, the pyrotechnic, though. Or, orchestra meets rock band meets fire and lasers. It's beautiful. But if I did have if I did have to choose a favorite Christmas song, I'd probably choose... The Santa Claus one. The, like, the, there's another one. I just love parody of Christmas songs. That I was, that that was so much fun. Tim? Hmm? Do you have a favorite Christmas song? Ooh. I don't think I do. Cop out. Um, but <laughs> if... No. Um, <laughs> if... Oh, it's not outside? No. Okay, because I have like 87 parking tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even own a car. 
you just stand in parking spots for a really long time. <laughs> they literally just write a ticket and just like stick it to your face, and you just hold it there. That's post it note. Oh goodness. Um, Continue, Tim. I'm sorry. <sighs> Is it, is it okay to say if Leslie Odom Jr. just sang a Christmas song that would be automatically my new favorite yeah. until he yeah. does a new one? That's totally okay. You want to you want to enunciate that name? Though? Leslie Odom Jr. There you go. Now I understand words. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I love you, Tim. It's okay. <laughs> By the way, your laughing made me lose it during the. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, Tim. Tim. At one at one point during the the, the Hanukkah. Yeah. Um, Tim was literally on his knees, <laughs> head buried in his hands, Which like crying. Which I couldn't look at your face and start laughing. <laughs> he was having a blast. Oh. Yeah. So uh, my, my favorite part was where baby Hanukkah could lift cities with his dick. <laughs> <laughs> that was hands down my favorite. <laughs> so now, the uh, moment that you all who managed to sit through one hour, two hours and 45 minutes of this... No, one hour oh, and 45 minutes. I was about to say, we have not been going for two hours and 45 no, minutes. An hour and 45 minutes of this. Um, That's crazy. It is the moment you've all been waiting for. It is time for the improv. Tim, put your phone away. The actu- the actual- Tim, if you could put that away, that'd be great. <laughs> the actual point of our show has been ble- leading up to this moment. It's been bleeding up to this bleeding moment. It's been bleeding, bleeding up to this moment. For those of you who don't know... If this is for some reason the first time you're listening... then you I'm pick- First off, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how it usually is. Go to our YouTube page to check out the links from previous episodes. Um... <laughs> So um, last uh, last week uh, when we were here with Dolly, uh, yes. she wrote down a suggestion at the end of her. When improv, I played Jesus Christ, when she played, and then she played your mother, um, and my daughter. <laughs> it was weird. Um, she wrote down a suggestion for today's uh, she did. improv. She did, um, and she claimed that it was not Christmas related, which I'm actually excited about. We're we're about to find. We're out. gonna make it Christmas related. Oh okay. yeah, we are. So oh. for pretty much the next hour. The four of us are going to be doing some really weird improv, and it's going to be a blast. Guys, we're going for an hour. Oh, so, this is not happening. Drum roll, please, as I open up the suggestion. Our suggestion today is the baby's first day at daycare. We go now to the baby's first day at daycare. <laughs> David, 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 David. What? David. David. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, can you take care of the kid, please? Um, all right, okay. And get that other kid off your leg. Who even is that? It's, it's, like, it's a new kid. It's his first day, apparently. <laughs> but that's not even our son. <laughs> Jeremy! 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 Stop! Why would you clap really loudly next to me? Because it scares you. <laughs> What do you want? Jeremy, you need to stop crying. And Jeremy, who is this other kid? Get him off of your father's leg. David, this isn't funny. This is Blaine. Hey, Blaine? Yeah. Blaine? Is that your name? Yeah. Where are your parents? I don't know. How did you get here? Jeremy, Blaine. Everyone's talking. Hey, David, 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 David. Take care of Blaine. David Blaine, you guys go over there. (laughs) Jeremy. It's okay, Blaine. Don't touch me. (laughs) Wow. Blaine, okay. Blaine. Have you guys seen Blaine around? Um, my kid Blaine. I dropped uh, him off. Yeah, he's oh, on. Yeah. He's on my yeah, husband's he's leg. Oh, oh, you shouldn't touch him. He's like he's very sensitive about okay, that. Okay, can you take him, please? please? No, he can stay there for right now. No, okay. please take him. Uh, what's I'm sorry. Blaine, what's your name? Blaine. Uh, get in the car. What's okay. your name? Hey, School is just back. starting. Hey, Blaine. Blaine, make sure to keep the windows rolled up. Okay. All right. Cool. All right, he's out of what's your name? Me. Yeah. Oh, I'm David. But that's David. Are you both named David? Oh, that's pretty it's, crazy. Whoa. Hey, hey, man, that's pretty cool. Wait. How do you spell it? Uh, uh, D A Y V I D. I told you you need to change the spelling. Yeah. It's terrible. No, mine's spelled the uh, right way. Um, yeah. Which is? D Q M V P. Okay, <laughs> that's correct. D Q M V P. D Q M V P. Dad. Yeah, um, where, oh, Jeremy. I did, I did not see him there. I'm so where, sorry. Where did Blaine go? Oh, Blaine's just in the car. He'll, Blaine's be, in he'll the, be fine. Blaine's in the car. Blaine's not going to school today. He's listening to Marilyn Manson. He's all good. But, it calms him down. But, Jeremy, but, you need to go to school. I, 
I just, I, 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 yeah, right. I, I miss, miss Blaine. Day. Well, Jeremy, if you go to school, maybe you can see Blaine after school. First okay. day, my boy. Okay. <laughs> really? Yeah. I just met Blaine. Yeah. And and do you, and do, you, do you want me to go get Blaine? Yeah. Right, do not go get Blaine. No, wait, wait. Please do not go get Blaine. All right, Jeremy. Um, <sighs> you just stay here with your teacher. We're gonna go. <laughs> What's a teacher? That's uh, don't even worry shopper. about it. <laughs> All right, um, David, you ready to go? Yes. Uh, my husband, David. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah you ready yeah, to go? Baby. Yeah, babe. Ready yeah, to go. Are you, okay. Are you guys, are you guys quite finished? We got, we got to get the lesson on. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get out of here right now. Uh, All cool, right, cool, cool. bye, bye, Jeremy. Dad. Bye, no. David. Bye, David. Call See him. Da- he's your J- father. J- Jeremy, oh is that his name? Jeremy. J- Jeremy, I J- think is his name. Jeremy Piven. Bye, Jeremy. All right, everyone, listen up. We're gonna do <laughs> Who some. Who are you? I'm your teacher. What's a teacher? The teacher is someone that learns your shit. All right, now we're gonna do a little bit. Of, we're gonna do a little bit of soft arithmetic. All right. Sorry. We go now to the car that all the parents are in. <laughs> oh my goodness! I never thought they leave. Um, excuse. Can you get out of our car? <laughs> yeah, man. What? What? What gives? Um, no, we can't David... have box with a square like you in here. Dave, you're not. You get out of my car too. This oh, is. Whoa, whoa. This is my Honda Accord. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We're, are we in the wrong? David, yeah. David, David we're in the wrong car again. Yeah, yeah, right, unlocked right. the car. Wait, you, then who are you? I, I, I'm, I'm Mr. I'm Mr. David. Mr. David. Mr. Yeah. David. No, there's three David. Are okay, you? No, we definitely. Are you married here. to David? No, he's married to me, Tommy. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I'm married to this David. He's also yeah. my dealer. So come on, guys. Are we gonna get this done? Or are we, oh, what are we doing? Um, I'm gonna. We'll pass. I'm gonna we'll get pass. out. Go. All right. Well, yeah, that's how you do it. You pass no, it around. No, no, we're gonna. I said we're gonna go. go. David, come on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Bye. Uh, sir, I'm all right. Hey, you want to talk this for me? So I, 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 I think David. I, what? what? Where's our car? Um, it's it's around here. Where did you park? Um. One of the aisles, one of the rows. The aisles, the rows. You know. Did you park like in a theater. Where, where did you park the car? Listen, even though this David, is a daycare, David. it has a very weird mall complex parking system. So, it's it's a very big daycare. Apparently, it's probably like mall size. All right. Well, then I guess we're. Boop, 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 what? Oh, I think that's. I think that's mine. I think that's mine. Oh, there. Oh, it is. there it is. Okay, we found it. Okay. All right. All right, let's go. Uh, we got some Christmas shopping uh, to do. All right. You know, I think I, I don't think know why we. Fine. I think why does fine. why does Jeremy's school start in mid December? I'm really curious about that. It might be like a Christmas Sunday school kind of thing. I, I don't I don't know. Whatever. We got to go buy him his presents. Yeah. So let's go. No, I think this was a good idea. I don't feel comfortable leaving him at school. You no, know, you fine. know that. It's fine. It's fine. Is it fine? Yes. He's a smart Something kid. Could... He'll learn. He's an Idiot. Are you Listen, kidding me? Hun, babe. Oh, God. Don't what's the worst that can go wrong? We go now to the classroom. <laughs> Where the worst is going <laughs> wrong. <laughs> hey! I said say the letter A. I S- stop clapping really loud in front of you. I stop clapping when you say the letter A, sucker. Now give me the letter A. <laughs> B that, that um, no. Um excuse me. What do you want, Timmy? A. Thank you. I know how to say Jam, the letter. Jeremy, Jeremy, do what Tim's doing. Jeremy, kiss ass. Jeremy, J- Jeremy, hey, Timmy's going to get the good grades in this him. class. Bad if you don't word. send yourself up straight, you're going to be kicked out of that hospital. You hear me? You no, hear me? Now I don't ki- know what you're saying. Now give me the letter A. A. D. A. Z. A. 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 Purple. A. A. I hear you, Tim. Thank you very I'm, much. Okay. I'm, I'm asking, I'm asking Jeremy right Okay, now. I'll just be over here picking you're, my nose profusely. That's, that's how you clean it. A. Where's Blaine? A. C. A. I saw, I saw Blaine A. go out into the dumpster. What? what? Why is Blaine I saw the Blaine dump- go into the dumpster. Why is whoa, Blaine? whoa. Let's do a sleep room. Yeah, he went into the dumpster. Oh, God. My mom, I do not have time for this today. Hey! Yeah. If you want to go look for him, <laughs> get your ass back in the classroom. All hey, right. <laughs> Blaine, right, get your ass in here, boy. Okay. There's two people in this class named Blaine. Oh, shit, my bad. Yeah, he man. wasn't talking to you, Blaine. Oh, he was talking oh, to oh, you. Oh, you're not in a dumpster. Your name's my Blaine, yeah. too? Yeah, my name's Blaine. Oh, your voice changed. Why really did your quick? name change again? Uh, how do your you voice. spell your name? All right, we won't got time for that. Stop hey. clapping. I'll stop uh, clapping when you say the word better. Uh, now give me an A. No, you blame. I need from Jeremy. Um, teacher. Oh, what's up, Timmy? Um, 
<laughs> Blaine just bra- grabbed your briefcase and ran out of the room. Oh, which, which one? Which brief? Which the Blaine or which? Like Kermit. Which Blaine or which briefcase? <laughs> no, which, oh, br- br- oh, it was it the brown briefcase or it was it the black briefcase? It was the black. Briefcase. Okay, it's got hair when he's fine. <laughs> Wait, what's brown and what's black? <laughs> exactly. Well, I'm black. Oh, you're, then you're it was. Brown. Oh, then it was the brown one. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's got my documents. Your documents. Shit. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go uh, get Blaine. him. Yeah. You're in charge of the class. What? Uh, you, <laughs> Blaine you is the one that the left. No, 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 no. I got this plane. I'm on my Blaine. Oh, yeah. The other Blaine. The other Blaine is the one that took the briefcase. All right. All right how many Blaines are in this class? I now have another identity. Hey, Wait. get back here. We go All right, now. let's go get him. <laughs> we go now to the hallways of the daycare. <laughs> Mr. Teacher, <laughs> are we going to get Blaine? No, oh, you suck. Oh, we bet we're going to get Blaine. Why did you take me with you? Excuse because excuse I need you to be... No, 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 no. Why, why? You're... I'm trying to clean the bathrooms, and, I am and you're trying making to a co- really loud noise. Mr. I, teacher is trying to go kill a student. I'm, what? Not, I'm not okay. trying to kill I a student. Know, I know that I am a janitor, but I mean... Can I at least clean in like some peace and quiet you can, here? You can clean but, when the bodies are back in my room, all right? Now, but listen, listen. Sucker. Blaine took a briefcase. Who's and Blaine? It, There's like twelve of them. The, the one that one. the one that sounds like Kermit the Frog. Yeah, of course. Of course. Yes, of course. I'm sorry. sorry I'm, I'm briefcase. Col- I'm, I'm, I'm I'm colored. The other I'm, I'm Blaine was in the dumpster. I only, yeah, I, only, I only know voices. So the Kermit Blaine. The Kermit They're Blaine. both yeah, troublemakers. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you see him walk? Do you see him run by? Um. Yes. He had a brown briefcase. Um, he went that way. All right, cool, cool. All right, Ellen, walk. That's I, I, be quiet. Why do you I'm say everyone? It's literally oh, wow, just me. Tip-tip. Thank you. Mr. Teacher, I have a question. Yes, what is it, Jimmy? Where do babies come from? Uh, they come from my dick. Oh. Yeah. What? I put, I put, I put. Ah! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's better you learn now. Okay. We go now to the mall. Okay. Um, oh my god, uh, David. Power Rangers, right? Power Ranger. What about Power Rangers? Hey, we're we're not buying Christmas presents presents. for you. We're buying presents for our son. Excuse me, are you looking for a Christmas present? Um, um, yeah. Could you... Is there something in your throat? What's wrong? Excuse me. I come from a very bad place. You want to finish <laughs> swallowing that, that water? <laughs> Yeah, it's better. Okay. Are you guys looking for something today? Uh, um, yeah, we're looking for Christmas presents. Oh, right this way. I got, I got a lovely assortment of Christmas presents. I have here, I have here a rabbit hedgehog that I found on the Ooh, street. Slightly um, used. Wow. It looks dead. Yeah. yeah well, you just got to feed it every day. It looks know? scorched. Did you, like, pour Listerine uh, on it or something? Well, yeah, we, we, had to, we, had to, we had to make sure it was sterile before we tried to sell it in the store. Okay, yeah. that's fair. Um, yeah, you know, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think our son wants a dead rabbit hedgehog. You're right, you're right. Yeah. Well, what are the kids listening to these days, right? Oh, look at all this. All right, oh, so we're going to move on. How about, ooh, okay, this. It's the new toy of the century. Hey, uh, Joe. Yeah? Why don't you introduce this product to oh, the lovely okay. people? Okay, um, hey, everybody. Um, Joe? This- Yes. Hi, Joe. Hello. Um, Hi, Joe. This is the uh, the newest toy on the uh, on, Yeah, that was established. Market. Can you um, hurry it up? Yes. We don't um, have all day. This, uh, this toy nice. is... is um, no, David. It it makes... It, if, you, if you poke speak it up, in... The, speak up, Joe. Louder. If you, if like, you poke, poke it, it in Joe, the stomach... Joe, speak up. If, if hey, you don't, poke don't talk it in, to him. I don't if, like that. If, if you poke it in I the stomach... I can't hear him. Oh, then Joe, speak up louder. You should have said something. I did. If you poke him in the stomach, he makes a noise. It kind of sounds like this. What, Joe? And that's really all he does, it's see? Very, does it kind of sound part. like that, or is it that sound? Well, why don't you try it? Wah-ha! All right, so it was kind of like that yeah, sound. Yeah, I wasn't like lying sure. to you. We only sell the finest equipment here. So well. is it kind of like a Buzz Lightyear karate chopping action kind of thing? Uh, it's more like a two-year-old trying to cut a piece of board in half with his hand kind of karate chopping uh, action. Oh. I, don't think, I don't think that's... Oh, what's this? Oh, um, no, oh I, this I, is just oh, that, this oh, is just a gun. Uh, just that's that's way out of your price range. It's just a gun. It. Don't worry about it. it is this we, real? That's, that, that's just for all the planes that have been breaking into our store. Don't worry about it too much. This is just a. You're just selling a gun at no, Toys no, R Us. It's not really for sale. It's it's more it's what's oh, this sorry, way. that's mine. How I much? Was, how much is it? Get that out of here. Sorry, Jesus. sorry. Jesus Christ! Bye, I'm trying to drum up a business here. All right. So, uh, so, uh, okay, so that wasn't... That Is wasn't this good. a sword? Uh, well, yeah. You know, Ooh, what kind of swords you got? Uh, we got? We got long swords, we got short swords, Ooh. we got skinny swords, we got mini skirt swords. We got any kind of swords you want. Nice. Swords. Oh, my God. Nice. 
Oh, anyway, yeah, it's all the ca- play, they're playing the Breath of the Wild, they're playing the Skirum, they're playing the <laughs> Morrowind. You know, and all these kids are playing all these uh, those big, huge net games. So you sell real swords? Well, yeah, we gotta we want to give them for children. We want to give them an authentic. Is this all sought you know? to help with all the blames? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, well, I mean, yeah, well, sure. We use our products sometimes. We get people breaking <laughs> into our stores, but like you know, it's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, <laughs> Joe, uh, like the dark. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, what, what, what's going we on? Got, we got a plan around here. Oh, oh, honey, we honey, got, get behind me. We got, oh, my we God. Got a plan we, go now to out, we go now to outside the store. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Teacher. What? He led us all the way to a Toys R Us. Yeah, I'm aware of that, Timmy. And he just went in. Yeah, I know. We're staking him out. We're going to wait out here, and he's going to either die in there, or he's going to run out the front Mr. door. Mr. Teacher. There's not two exits in here. Where um, did you get a gun? Me? I always, ha- I always pack my piece. Hey, excuse me. I'm talking. I always pack my piece. Can I me. have a gun? Yeah, sure. Here you um, go. I always have awesome. a I'm, I'm sorry. Bang, you're just, bang. You're just blocking what, uh, the... What? Aim towards the sky. I did. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm, so, I'm sorry. You're just you're just blocking the entrance. It's okay if I get through. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, sure. hey. Oh. Get away from us. Oh, 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 I'll shoot you. Don't worry, it's just, don't worry, it's just blanks. Uh, but bang, bang! Oh, oh, wow, it, it is blanks. Oh, uh... I'm not too sure about that. No, uh, you're bleeding profusely. Oh, oh, well, I'm, I'm just gonna go in here and kill my... Bang, 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 bang! How did you shoot? That's only a revolver. How did you get that many shots out of that? I'm really good at reloading a no, gun no, very no. quickly. I didn't, I didn't even know you were packing ammo. <laughs> oh, good course I am. You came prepared to class. Yeah. All right, so we gotta wait out A. What? A. Yes, very good, Timmy. A. Very, very good. All right, so we'll go I brought here. bullets, and I can say A. Uh, yes, yes, Do yes. I move on to the first grade? Mm, we'll think about it, all right? Okay. Technically, it's still daycare, so we're not even into the school system yet. Kindergarten, then. A. We'll think about it. We'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk with you about it. All right, so we're going to wait out here. We got we to wait for Blaine to come back in. And what are we going to Are we going to shoot him? <laughs> Oh, okay. Something happened in there. Uh, We're going out inside the store. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, wait, wait. Joe, Joe, what is it now? I, I just wanted to let you know that um, I accidentally spilled a little bit of water in uh, Nile 4. Your and... boss has just been shot <laughs> by a three-year-old. <laughs> Big deal. You know, I just you just wipe it off. Put a little where did he go? Put a little Listerine. Uh, it's all good. David, did you see where he went? It's high new motherfuckers. Oh, oh no. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, back here, little reps oh, 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 Watch out for the water. <laughs> Don't shoot a child. Just, 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 honey, get behind me. Get my hide. It's a plane. It's a plane. Don't worry. They're, 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 they're like everywhere around here. They, they're, 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 oh, oh no. Hold, no. Hold, hold oh, your God. fire. Oh, God. I am, I am not a Blaine. I am... A, a teacher. Why are you holding your finger up to your mustache for a radio show? David. <laughs> David. He got yeah. me. Especially what? since you He got me. No. He got me. No. This is it for me, David. Wait. <sighs> Wait. Honey. What? Oh, uh, don't worry. This yeah. is jam. Oh. I oh, told you, you got, literally. Uh, I, t- I told you it's I okay. You thought we were shooting kids with bullets? Are you shooting with jam? We're shooting with jam pellets. Jesus Christ, they're children. We go now to outside the store. Ah, uh, Mr. Teacher, yeah, we'll I have these jam bullets. Should I use these or the real bullets? Uh, it's really, it's really up to you at this point. All right, I'm gonna use real bullets. All right, that's probably better. All it's right, the we go back to inside the store. It's, I am, I am not a uh, a bling. I am a teacher. It is right here in my documents. Yeah, right, right. Why in don't I wait wait, 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 wait? This mustache looks suspicious. It's a bling. <laughs> grab him! Grab him! I got him! I got him! I got him! I got him! Wait, wait, wait! wait before you do anything else, I he just did shot him three times. What? But he did say he had a briefcase, which means he has documents. If they say that he is a teacher, he is in fact a teacher. Yeah. yeah that's All right. right. Well, let's take him into yeah, the interrogation right. room in the back. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Someone uh, tie him up back there. I got this. I got this. I was, I was Can I also down. ask why the Toys R Us has an interrogation room? Well, uh, you know shit happens. Say, oh, well, you know when out. theft happens during Christmas time, what Shut happens? Shut up, yeah, David. We, we, put on, we put on a lot more extra security. It's just a preventative <laughs> just a preventative measure. All right, you go to the interrogation room. <laughs> All right, Blaine, start talking. Why are you clapping right in front of me? Blaine, I don't have time for your bullshit. Give me some. Uh, start talking. What are you doing on my store? It's a school day. Well, 
I am a teacher, and... I don't tell you lies, Blaine. I've seen you in the store before. <laughs> well, if you look at my documents... I don't want to see it. Wait. Uh, give me the documents. Oh, here you go. I took the briefcase from him when we oh, died him up. Go. All right. Uh, let's see what um, we have. Uh, <coughs> let's see what we have here. Um... Mm, Okay, uh, that's a work visa. That's a that's a very ugly passport photo. It doesn't um, even yeah. look like him. Uh, yeah, no, well, it, it happens black. sometime. I mean, like, you're not. Well, you're you're more brown. I mean, all right. So, um, it uh, was a tan. Uh, we got we got some homework. We got a homework of a star on it. That's pretty good. We got homework. With yeah. the, we got a homework with thumbs up on it. Yeah. All right. Hey, 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 Blaine. Tell me what word is that? Uh, that's the letter A. Oh, lucky guess. All right. Um. <laughs> Okay, uh, well, uh, Did you right. find anything important? No, no. Am I free to go now? No, we'll, we'll tell you when you're free to go. Joe, well, check, uh, Joe you can examine We're the going out outside the store. Mr. Teacher. Mr. Teacher. I don't think they're coming out. Yeah. I think we gotta go. Um, in. excuse me, sirs. Yo. Um, Yo, did I speak to you? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, PD. Um, we've been getting complaints about people standing out here in front of a Toys R Us and shooting people. Well, yeah, yeah we about got... that. Brad, 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 Brad. Um, yeah, if you, if you can see here under my button up, I'm wearing a vest. You're coming with me, small child, for usage of guns. Not I if I run. run. <laughs> like Come on, minutes. Mr. Teacher, we gotta get in there. Yeah, you go, you go ahead, Jimmy, I'll catch up. <laughs> All right, who do we still who do we still got left here? Oh shit, is it just me? God damn! All right. Come on! Uh, where are we going? Inside the store to kill Blake. All right, you know what? You know and what? cover him in jail. All right, you know you get behind me. All right? I'm gonna need, I, I need someone on my six. All right. All right, here we go. We're gonna bust down the door in three. Ready? One, One two, a wait. Oh oh shit! I never taught you how to. Oh whoa 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 whoa! Close what? that door. Close that door. I never taught what? you how to. I never taught you how to count to three. All right, so ready? Okay, so this okay. is number. This all is right. called one, all right? A. Uh, no, no, one. A. Okay, so uh, we'll go and see. All right, so a one. A. a two. A. No, it's a B. A. Okay, okay. Okay, so we'll go on the third A, okay? You understand? All right. All right, so A. One. Oh, hmm. Ah! <laughs> You listen to me now, boy. Don't clap so loud next to me. <laughs> there, there are lives at stake here, all right? All right. Uh, we got to do it. All right. All right. Wait, are we counting or yeah, we're doing gonna, letters? We're going we're gonna to count, all right? All right. A. One. B. Two. Three. C. Ah! No one's here. Why did you... It, it already... It just opens on hey, its own. Shh, shh, shh. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. I, I'm get down. already... I'm one foot tall. All right. All right. Well, then... Well, then... Well, then Quiet your voice. All right. We got, we got, we got to do it. Hello. We got to do it. Hello. Hi. No, 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 no. Is we don't want to. Get... In there? Yeah, me. And who? I have a gut. Who, who are you? My name is Timmy. Nice to meet you, Timmy. I'm Joe. Joe. Joe guess what I can do? What? I can say the letter A. I'm so proud of you, son. son. You know what else I can do? Oh. Fire a gun! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he just say son? Yeah, that's my dad. Oh, shit. We got a bigger issue. On. Oh, crap. We're going to get the SWAT team hey, in here Hey, hey, Um, what's, uh, what are you and your teacher you doing must be here? Uh, he's teaching me how to break into a Toys R Us and kill a kid named uh, just, Blaine. It's just, it's just, it's just, yes, it's, it's hi. Just welcome to Toys R Us. May, may I help you? Th bang, bang, <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> All right. So it's, it's simple, simple, basic arithmetic stuff. All right, we're looking, we're looking for a Blaine. Have you seen him anywhere? Um, we're, we're inter interrogating somebody who, who, Looked like a Blaine. Mm. However, we did find proper documentation to claim Whoa. that he was. A Wait, did you Whoa. say documentation? Well, what yeah. color briefcase was it? Um, was it brown? Uh, yeah. Oh Wait. Oh shit. Was yeah, this was this out. teacher about one foot tall? I'd say about one and a half feet. Timmy, but yeah. Timmy, Timmy, we gotta go in there. Let's go. You forgot the key to the interrogation room. Here you go. Oh, thank you. I was just going to kick down the door anyway. Uh, we've replaced that door. <laughs> Here you go to the interrogation room. Start talking. I will tell you nothing. Are you... <laughs> you need to tell me the evidence, all right? Hey! Let me in. I can't oh, reach. 
I can't reach Where did you go? I can't reach the keyhole. God, God damn it, I'm on You'll my own You'll get deck. nothing from me. You will lose. Stay outside. We got business now to I take care of. Oh, 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 you you know, know, I got it. You want you Here you go. Don't, you. Don't, no. Well, well, well. Well, look at here, Blade. Who are you calling Blade? What? What's, what's going on? Well, well, well. If it isn't, if it isn't, if it isn't Blade. Blade, you oh, are in a hell of a Timmy, what the hell is going on here? I'm My here to. My greatest foe. We I'm meet here, again. I'm here to kill Blade. Well, you know that if you slay me here now, I will be more powerful than you would ever imagine. No longer the South shall be oppressed by the Northerners. Whoa! <laughs> we, we all, we all, we all, we all know that the Toys R Us on the south side of town is not as clean as the North one. Okay? That yes, is not but a they bad have. Business. I exclusively shop at the North the Toys R Us, and how dare you? We go now to the Lego me. aisle, honey. Um. Yeah. Why is it? Why are they just screaming? I've heard several gunshots. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to go to the South Side Toys R Us? I know they have bigger Lego sets there. Honestly, I just want to be anywhere where my life isn't in danger. Yeah. Do you want to just like go home and like I don't know, cuddle or something? Well, no. We still gotta buy Christmas presents. <laughs> Shit. Um. All right. Let's just uh, let's get something Lego Star Wars here and let's go. All right. Yeah. Ring, 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 ring. Um, oh god, uh, it's my that, phone. That... Uh, it's my phone. Okay. Uh, hello. What do you want, Jeremy? Uh, our, our teacher left. Where'd you get a phone? I'm, I'm, I'm borrowing the janitor's. He's really nice. Anyway, so uh, our teacher left to chase a kid named Blaine. And I oh, yeah, he's, he's yeah, here. We know, he's huh? here. Where, we know. where are you? Where, oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about it. We're, okay. Um, when you're older, son, all right? Okay. We're at a um, war between the North and the South, apparently. Um, so, um, all of the other parents have come and picked up all the kids, and I'm the only one here with oh. the janitor, and it's kind of weird because okay. he's trying to teach me how to clean toilets, but I don't want to. I mean, that's all a right. valuable life lesson. Yes, we'll be right there, okay, honey? I can't honey? even hold them up. We'll be right there, all right? Thank you, we Dad. Love you. Bye. I love you too. Okay, so like another three hours of screwing around and then we'll get our kid, all right? No, you go get him. I'll okay. find a toy. Okay. And I'll just come back here when you have him, okay? okay. I love you. I right. love you, buddy. I love, I love you too. You. We fast forward to the daycare. <laughs> Dad! There you are! Oh, hey, hey, son. Oh, you're not my dad. It's okay, Blaine. I think he knows where your dad is, too. You know where my dad is? Yeah, he's at Toys R Us. Oh Why is he at God. Toys R Us? I was supposed to be there. I'm going to start running now. Uh, bye, bye. Okay. All right. He's going to get hit with a shell of jam, but that's fine. I, um, we're going to go... Um, Where's other dad? Uh, he did. So he's going shopping right now. Well, what's he shopping for? Um, uh, honestly, I cannot remember if he told me to meet up with you... Uh, and me, uh, have us meet up with him, or if we to just head straight home, um, I'll, I'll call him for a second. Hey, hon. What? Were we supposed to meet up with you, or were we just going to head straight home? I don't really care. Okay. All right. Bye-bye, honey. I love you. Oh, God. Okay. Um, he's just going to do some shopping for dinner. Uh, why don't we go back home? Hey, uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. This is a bad time. Uh, I mean, we are just about to head out. <sighs> I'm, I'm so sorry. I wish I could at you sooner, but I just want to talk to you a little bit about Jeremy's grades. Um, y yes. What's 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 wrong? Okay, okay. Uh, why don't you say your name for us again? I'm Jeremy. No, very good. All right, so you see, he can say his name now, so that's probably okay. that's a little good now. But then watch this. All right, uh, now, Jeremy, can you uh, say the letter A for us? C! You see, this is the um, problem. We've been dealing with this for the past three months well, now. I, I don't, this I don't, is my first day! Uh, I let the, the adults are talking, Jeremy. I mean, I look. I I think he's going at his own pace, and that's okay. Yeah. Um, I don't I don't think we should be so worried about I, I, him. I perfectly agree with you. I perfectly agree. A lot of kids go at different paces. We've seen a bunch of kids here. They all go at their own different paces. But Jeremy's. Just, I can still hear you. Jeremy, 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 just wait in the corner over there, please. Okay. Jeremy's just going at a pace that's not really deemed academically acceptable, and we're afraid that we'll have to put him into like an enrichment kind of program to give him that little edge to. Okay. Know. Um, Otherwise, he's just going to be behind in all of his classes, and he's just going to end up getting prom king his senior year, and then not knowing what to do for the rest of his life. And we just don't want to give him that up. We just don't want to give him that. Okay, well, the people who always got prom king at my high school were 
douchebags. Yeah, and, so. they pe- and they peaked in high school. They never really went into that. They got yeah. dead on jobs after that. And you know, I see a good amount of potential in Jeremy, and I just want to. All right. I just want to make sure I, you know, I give him. By the way, I was prom queen, but that's completely irrelevant. Oh, nice, so, uh, nice. No. We go back to the interrogation room. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's let's do this, Blaine. Well, what are you gonna do? Shoot me up with jam? Can we, can Strawberry we, jam? Can we, or is it grape jam this yes. time, Timmy? No jam this time. I got real bullets. Oh, I was going to guess marmalade next, but... Excuse oh, me, Oh, shit, I got a pickle. What do you want? Excuse me, can I please get some attention God. from my gun wounds? Fine. You shot me seven times with an actual gun, and I do not appreciate that. No, I mean, I'm a, I'm a taxidermist by night. I could probably stitch you up. Joe. How about it? Okay. Um, God, uh, what was your name again? Timmy, that's Timmy. right. Timmy! I'm sorry, son. I'm just really stressed right now. Um, can you go into a aisle 12 and get me a, a, a play sewing kit? God, I'm supposed to be having a duel right now, but I guess... Well, we have other things to attend to. Yeah, fine. Thank you. I love you, son. Get out. Ha-ha. You fool. You have activated my trap card. Now that Timmy is gone... You have not realized that I am free! Now let's make two things straight. Um, your fingers can't shoot bullets? Blaine, put down the gun. No, no, it's just his hand. He's just blind. Don't trust me, I deal with this on a daily basis. You're still bleeding! Ah, no. Blaine, put down the gun. Why? Because I told you to. What what, what more reason? You're not my dad? Yeah. Well. You ever wonder? No. You're lying. You ever wonder why your dick's so incredibly huge? <laughs> because oh, Timmy, you're back! Oh, boy! Yeah, I'm back. Give me the okay, awesome. I got uh, what you, you, you can, Okay, I'm just gonna search his... Oh, this is, my God, this he's is, right! No, he's, you know my I, bitch. I'm gonna just start your sewing... Mom, your sewing. mom's a good whore. This, this might hurt a lot. I am going to stab you with this needle. So I went through now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's one stitch. No, no, no I'd keep going. Yeah, and oh, that's two. Oh, God, man. All right. Okay, okay and then okay. three. <laughs> four. Good job, Dad. Oh, thank you, son. Okay. You should you should try one. It's a very valuable life lesson. How to, how to... <laughs> I just rather shoot him. <laughs> Good luck here, Blaine. Okay, so uh, one more stitch. There you go. I'm just gonna, Wait, I'm just did Blaine, tie did you Blaine leave? <laughs> oh, God. I think you punctured one of my Blaine, you come oh, back here! Totally right. <laughs> we go now to the rooftop of Toys R Us. <laughs> Damn it. What are they supposed to get here? Don't move another muscle, Timmy! Or I jump, and you'll never get the satisfaction of slaying me! Not if I shoot you before you jump! Bang, bang, bang! Oh god, I used the jelly bullet. Oh god, oh no! This is the police! Put your weapons down! Oh no! Oh god! Okay, Don't you Blaine, see here, Blaine, Blaine! Blaine! I, I never thought I'd say this, but if, we need to, if we're gonna get out of here, we have to work together. I refuse. Blaine. Blaine. We're gonna count to the count of three. Blaine, if you don't cooperate right now. Can you just right literally now. give us like two minutes to monologue? <gasps> hey, wait, shit. <laughs> Blaine, if you don't cooperate right now. How do you count to three? We're either gonna get arrested for our, the rest of our lives or we're gonna die. Fine. If that means that you rot here with me, I am more fine with that. Oh, what God. What do you mean you don't know how to fly this thing? Then I'm getting out of here. <laughs> Sorry, this is my first time on the job. Don't you realize what? I clearly this don't will realize. Never end. The chasing. Oh, god damn it! The jam. Oh my god, that helicopter just exploded. Holy shit. It will okay. never end. The chasing. The documents. The guns. The jam. Strawberry grape or marmalade. This needs to end here. I'm done with running. I'm done with hiding. I'm done with these documents. All right. Well, I guess if we're going to do this, we've got to do this like men. I found these big swords downstairs in Toys R Us. You want to just want to just really fight it out? Oh, you kids. I told you get back. To get out of play. here, Dad. We're going to have a sword fight. Jesus. <laughs> Then bring it on, sucker. No, 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 no. You're, I hate you're, you're, you, Dad. Still Where were you? Shit. Where were you for the other 11 I'm going to fight your dad. Ching, ching, ching. 
stab. Stab again. Stab. 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 Finishing blow. Finish him. I, I just did, Dad. Sorry, I'm a little late on that. God, Dad, you're so stupid. I tried. You Merlin kids. Well, I mean, Blaine. You just melted into a puddle. That was I, pretty I, I'm really good with a sword. Thank you. I killed your father. Why are you thanking me? I don't know. Well, it could right. be a multiple of things, to be honest, Kimmy. A multiple of things? Yes. Well, you're he was never supportive. How are you stooping from the ground? He never supported me. He was. Oh, is he not dead? Oh, okay. Let oh, me just... wait. Is this like one of those stage two RPG boss fights kind I'm of I'm just throwing my sword at his face. <laughs> All right, now he's dead. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Our lives will meet once again at some point in the future. I feel like you're saying a lot of really dramatic things that don't make any sense. Shh. Our fates will cross path. Maybe... In a few years, or maybe in a few decades, perhaps in another lifetime. But you just said you were done with the running. You wanted to finish this now. What happened to that? I lied. Whoosh. What? He can fly? <laughs> no, no, get back here. Uh, did, did Blaine just get away? <laughs> yes, B other Blaine. Uh, he was my soul brother. Where is your father? Ah! <laughs> oh, he's... Oh, so he was your actual brother, oh, too. Oh, my... I, Wait, I, your dad just had two sons and named them both Blaine? Uh, I guess he wasn't that intelligent. Well... Uh, smart, I mean... Well, I mean, I have one solution to this. Uh, what is that? Shing stab! Ah! You can be with him now. I love you for that. <laughs> to me? Um, All right, that makes things a lot less confusing. Timmy, there's only um, one Blaine to deal now, with now. Now, now. now that uh, now that we are the uh, only ones on this roof, um, I have a very important thing to tell you. Yeah. Um, 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 a murder is uh, not a good thing. Well, you know what I have to say to that, Dad? Shing stab! I blocked it. Stab! You stab! 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 I'm too quick. Don't you see? What? This will never leave you. Get out of my head, Blaine. The more you kill... No. Oh, God. The more blood that is shed... No, Blaine, get out of my head now. Oh. The more that you leave upon the oh. ground... Ow. Oh. The more that leaves your soul... Oh, God, where'd my t-shirt go? What happened to Blaine? Oh. Uh, Don't you see? He, he's currently in my head, but he flew away. He, he gone? He's gone. He flew oh, away. thank Christ. That kid was annoying the shit out of me. Hey, where'd you get that sword? All right, from downstairs. It's your store. Oh, yeah. Hey, you want to have a sword fight? Kill him. Uh, what? I Do said it. you want to have a sword fight. But you just you just said to, uh, the bloodshed is bad. The bloodshed oh. never ends. It is now a part of you. Yeah. We are I guess. one now. You're, you're okay, that kid? I guess it is a part of me. Shing stab 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 slit throat ah god just cuz you say those things you're doing doesn't mean that I'm a monster Shing 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 how are you so good with that I have no idea Oh look it's a key to my store I keep it in my second stomach and say something like this you are now the owner of the store. Ugh. Ew, gross. Throw that off the roof. All right. Well, I can't stop killing people. Oh, God. Oh, God. We go back now to the daycare with the parent-teacher conference. It's still going on. So, yeah. Um, I think... Maybe... Thinking is like a TV in your brain. Sometimes you just have to turn it off. Okay. Um, oh. Or maybe we could just stop with the weed for a moment. Mm. Um, uh. Dad? 
Yeah. I'm I'm feeling oh. a little weird. Me too. The, the, the smoke in the room is making me feel funny. <laughs> was he here the whole time? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I thought I was tripping. All right, so we're going to go. Um, uh, it's been nice talking to you, sir. It's been nice talking to you, Santa. Um, right. Uh, not Santa, but close enough. You got it, Chris Kringle. Can we go now? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> so, um... Where are we going? We're gonna go back home. Okay. Wanna wanna have dinner? I would love dinner. What did Dad get? Um, I don't know. Probably some like uh, pasta. I'm okay with this. Let's go. We go back to Toys R Us. Hello? Does anyone even work here anymore? <laughs> Who are you? My name isn't important. What? Blaine? Silence. Blaine, get out of my head. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not even... I'm, I'm, I'm literally right in front of oh, you. Oh, you're really short. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> how's the weather down there? Ooh, that's the first one I heard I mean, before. How, how is the weather down there? Bloodshed. How about that for an answer? All right. Blood. Did you say bloodshed? All right. Um. Look. Oh, let's make bloodshed. This uh, um, bloodshed. Bloodshed. Yeah, yeah, real nice, buddy. Um, whatever. I will go to the roof. Bloodshed. I mean, I wasn't really aiming for that. But Shing! Right. To the roof I go. We All go right, back have fun. to the roof. Oh, God. I can't stop killing people. I can't stop. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah? I'm going to kill you. Not if I kill you first. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, stab, 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 stab. Wow, kid, you're you're pretty good at this. Yeah, I know I am. Where'd you learn to fight like that? My dad taught me. But he's dead. I killed him. Well, maybe, maybe I can be your dad. What? I said maybe I can be your dad. Maybe I could adopt you. I've done it before. It's, it's, it's pretty complicated, but I think we could get it done. I think you could be my new son. You, you could have a brother. You could have two two dads. That's super progressive. Yeah, that sounds pretty all right. But how can I trust you? Well, that's just something you're gonna something you're gonna find out. Take my hand. Not if I cut it off. Shing! Oh God! Timmy, why? Because I killed my. Dad, I don't, you think I don't have a mom, you idiot? Wow, that's just really, that was really uncalled for. You could have just told me that and just said you didn't want to be adopted. You cut my hand off? Yeah, I did, because I'm bloodthirsty, and the bloodshed will never stop. Stab! Oh, God. Timmy, Timmy, can you do one thing for me? What is it? Can you bring pasta home to my family yeah if I get around to it thank you <clears throat> oh god <laughs> will the bloodshed ever end we go back to the house of Jeremy and David <laughs> good evening master and oh uh, hey hey man um uh... There's something on your mind? No, no, the, hus the husband should be home soon with... Uh, yes, I heard a, I had a letter from him. He said he'd be arriving soon. Okay. Something about pasta. Yes, yes. Uh, I like pasta! Oh, very good. What is your name? Jeremy. Thank you, He's Jeremy. my son. I know. All right. I just want it. I'm trying to reinforce the name, you know? Oh. You told me to do this, correct? Oh, um, I, I, can solve it. I can solve it if you'd like. I think that was more like my husband's idea, mm, but okay. I, that was the first time being here. In the future, should I get validation from both of you before I start? Um, and then return program with you, sir? Preferably, yeah. Um, excuse me, sir. Uh, yes, butler number two. There was a package delivered at the door. Oh, um, okay. I thought I took care of the packages. 
please? Well, this one was given directly to me. Uh, as I was standing at the door. What's it's, inside? It is a single box of pasta oh. covered oh. in blood. Oh. I gave it I gave it a, a taste. Is it blood? It tastes like your husband's. No, no, no let me let me taste. Let me taste. Oh. Yeah, let me let me taste this. Heavy and iron, good copper accent. Yeah, that is definitely your husband. I've given enough hickeys on my husband to definitely know that this is his blood. Too much information, man. I did not need to know that. It's okay. Sometimes that happens. How would you? I'm so confused. Oh, oh, listen. Uh, Let me uh, let me take this one. Let me introduce myself. My name is Alfred. I will be taking care of you. Oh wait, Mm. never mind. Let's nix that for right now. How how much longer do you think you'll be living? Ah. So what? what, what Let me explain this to you, little Jeremy. Your father. Not the one standing there. Okay. The other one. Okay, other dad. Whose yeah. name has never been established. Other dad. Other dad. It's no reason. He was murdered. Well, how do you know that? Well, there was also a note. Oh, well, you didn't it say says, that before. I murdered your dad. Love, Timmy. <gasps> I don't like Timmy. Well, He's apparently. Than me. Well, apparently, Timmy didn't like your father very much either. He thought I didn't know the first letter of the alphabet. I think it would be nice for you to have this box of pasta. You guys already ate from it. Well, it has your father's blood. Why would I want that? To remember him. That's gross. Sir, we need to discuss arrangements. You see, your husband was always in charge of the Christmas celebration, and as he is now deceased... What would you like to do? Indubitably, yes. It's what he would want. Well, most people would set up the Christmas tree. That's kind of just something everyone does. Right. Would you like us to go out back and chop one down for you? Or would you like us to get it from a would you like us to get it from a farm? Upstate? Um From back. It's what he would want. From back. Very All right. Well. Alfred I think. two. Get the axe. Yes, I will. Right away, sir. Now, son. Yeah? There's an important lesson on all of this. What? The true meaning of Christmas. The letter A! Oh my god, he said it. Alfred, what did you get in here? Holy shit, get the camera! What, we were just about to chop down the tree. What is the meaning? Jeremy, say it again. D! God damn it. You call us in here for nothing, good lord. Call this in here for a D? We Is need your to. Idea of a joke? No, he, he said A. I promise. Yeah, whatever. We go now to the forest with Alfred and Alfred too. All right, let's just find the good? finest tree and chop it down. It's not right there. Who the fuck what? Said that? It is I. Who? I. I don't know who you Wait. are. A. Wait, I know that voice. Well, 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 Alfred, Alfred one. It's been too long. Blair me. No, Blaine. <laughs> what? We meet again. Indeed we do. What is... Alfred one, go inside. Lock it. I'm Alfred two. You're right, Alfred two, go inside. So I see you've got a new Alfred, huh? Alfred two, go inside, lock the doors, get the swords, and it... stay gone. Indubitably. <laughs> what do you want, Blaine? Isn't it obvious? No, it really isn't. We're chopping down a Christmas tree. What what could you possibly want of us? I want the true meaning of Christmas. That's impossible. There is no such thing. That is where you are wrong, Alfred. What? Or should I say Alfred one? What? What what this is preposterous. What are you getting at? It is wind within the boy's soul. Which the boy mean? who cannot even say the letter A. What? Are you telling me that Jeremy has the key to Christmas? He does. All those years of me growing up, unsatisfied with all the terrible gifts that I've received, is because a little boy just born less than three years ago has had the true meaning of Christmas inside him the entire time? Indeed. It makes perfect sense. What do we do about this? It is simple. You give me the boy. And you give me 
his soul. I can't just give you the boy. He's he's three years old. There will be major lawsuits on our hands. This is still a lawful society. We haven't descended into anarchy yet, because someone is being lazy and going around messing with children when he should be messing with political okay, figures. Okay, you know what? This is getting real long and real boring, so here we go. Uh, stab and... Uh... Oh, yeah, well, stab. Okay, well, first off, that's rude. Yeah, uh, same to you. You don't see me going around stabbing people. All right, um, you know what? We're just going to do this until you're dead. Uh, stab, well, stab, 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 stab. We go inside the house. We go inside the house. Um, sir... Yes? Not you, Jeremy. Okay. David. Yeah. yeah, what's up? There is um there is a young boy outside, either named Blaine or Blaramy, it's not really clear. And Are you sure it isn't Blevin? Or Blevin, whichever one. He has a sword and he's currently murdering Alfred. <gasps> My husband's murderer. Alfred? No, 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 Alfred. Timmy isn't the mur- Timmy murdered your husband. Oh, yeah. But this one's murdering your butler, the other one. Right, right, right. Indubitably. Indubitably. Um, okay. What should we do? Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Your husband always did the Christmas arrangements and the murder arrangements. What do we do now? Okay, this is- this is the part where I think about what my husband would do, and then my husband's ghost appears, and it's like, uh, it's not about what I would do, it's about what you would do. It's not about what I would do. It's about what you would do. Great. How am I getting this aspiration? Give me that here. All right. Okay. Um, and then after that, it's like a weird, like... Um, uh, are we not Lion going King. to acknowledge that? Uh, Lion <laughs> There's King. just a ghost in yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, don't worry. No? Don't worry. All right. Um, and then it's like a weird, like, Lion King, Simba, Mufasa thing. And so then, like, I become, like, the new, like, arranger and do it in my own way. And then I'm, I'm going to sacrifice myself. And then... Uh, Your what? Yes, yes, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's all part of the plot. Um, and then Jeremy is gonna go, like, full Super Saiyan mode, and then he'll be able to defeat, uh, Blaine. Spoilers! It's, it's okay, it's okay, son, it's okay. Okay. Um, don't worry, it's really cool, your hair will be blonde and spiky, it's a blast. Trust me. Yeah. Um, so, that'll happen, uh, he will be Super Saiyan, and then he'll defeat Blaine. And then the true meaning of Christmas will be discovered and everything. Wow. Yeah, I know, it's a lot. That, oh, that's and very complicated. And then he'll be like his new caretaker. It's very complicated. Yeah, I know. It's most anime is. Don't worry. We go back now to the forest. Stab, 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 okay. stab, stab. Okay, stab, for stab, real stab. to like advance plot progression, I'm gonna kill you for real now. Well, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill you for real now. Not if I kill you first. <gasps> but what's his name? Uh, Timmy. Timmy. Yeah. yeah How did Timmy. you know that? Who are you? I am Alfred One. Oh, stab. Nice try. Stab, stab! I have disadvantage to long swords. Stab, stab, stab. That's not gonna work. You're gonna need something a lot stronger to kill me. Oh, well, it's a good thing I haven't been killing you this whole time. I've been stabbing Blaine. <gasps> no! It went right through me and into you! <coughs> Blaine! <coughs> no! <coughs> we need to secure the true meaning of Christmas! <coughs> stab. <coughs> Stab, stab. There's only... Stab, stab, stab. Uh, one option left. Stab. Give me your hand. Okay. I got this. Oh, that's... Oh, that hand. Chop oh. hand off. Okay. Oh, what the fuck, man? Behead. What? Uh, oh, you're still making noise. Uh, they say that. I not. lend my soul. You're 100% <laughs> dead. Oh, it's my God. Alfred. It's to my brain, what, stupid. What? What is going on? What are you doing in here? Why? I, this is very uncomfortable. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> oh, no, all right, let's... <clears throat> I'm just going to make you a... <clears throat> I'm just going to make you a separate aspiration. <laughs> yeah, that you should know, be this bad. This would be a lot better if I was just talking the whole time. Yeah, I know. That's, <laughs> why, that's why I made you a separate aspiration. That's, how, okay. that's, why, that's what's going on. Right. Why? Do I, do I fight you now? Well, you can't fight it. You fight both of us, Timmy. But and here you will lose. But you're a ghost, so I guess you automatically All win. All right. And I have to Shing! You, I have disadvantage to long swords. They really, they did like they pretty much just bounce off off me. It's like I'm a holographic projection and just like, whoop, you know, the stuff like that. Well, then you shouldn't have any problem defeating me. Why do you sound scared? Uh, I'm not. My sc- stand has no weakness, Timmy. I'm not scared. I'm just, I'm just. Bang! 
What? Oh, God, he shot me. Oh, perfect. All right, we need to wrap this up real quick, so let's just get in there and get ourselves killed by the Super Saiyan, okay? Whoa, what? That's not part of the... Yes, okay, it is. Let's all right. go. Well, let's do it. We now take you back inside the house. Um, sir. Oh, no. Sir. Look out. Alfred One is currently running in with a ghost of a dead boy. <laughs> oh, my. What's up? What's up, bitches? Here you will die. Alfred, what happened to your accent? It got better. I now mean, prepare to die. Bang! Oh god, he shot Stab. me. Oh, I've been stabbed Bang. and shot. Oh, and shot. Now, shot the shot true again. meaning you of meant Christmas. You nothing to me, Alfred, too. Now, the true meaning. Stomp. Will you stop interrupting me for one minute so I'm I can sorry. speak? You, Thank you. You go, Blaine. Thank you. Okay. Now, the true meaning of Christmas. Hey, Dad! No, no, the, the other dad. Oh my god! I'm trying to talk. To, I'm you trying to talk to my to dad. Stop. Jeremy. What? Jeremy. Do you guys hear that too? No. Hold on, no. I, did, I didn't kill the this dad wasn't yet. This part of the deal. Jeremy. Bing. Oh god, I'm dead. No. Jeremy. What? Yes. You've had a gun in your back pocket this entire time. No, don't, don't, don't listen to him. Do it, Jeremy. Jeremy, you know what to do, Jeremy. Listen to your dead father. Don't listen. I'm your real father. He's just a caretaker. I only, I only have one thing to say. Shut up with the music. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Come on, it's ruining the mood. I have one thing to say. Just one thing to say. Say it, son. Yeah, get on with it, really. Hey. Yes! <laughs> Good boy, Jeremy. Jeremy, I want you I want you to come here. Come You're here. You're a ghost. Come to your ghost father. Okay. And and other ghost father. Both of your fathers are dead now. <laughs> what? And Why did you get shot? And your butlers. We're all dead. Okay. Indeed we are. I miss something. You need to You need to take care of yourself this Christmas. You have this true meaning of Christmas we, inside you. We never bought you any presents. We tried to. Dicks? They tried to. No. We didn't even buy you those. <laughs> we're sorry. They were sold out. And just, it was a whole thing. But we I believe, I truly Americans. believe that if you travel the world with your brain and that gun, you are unstoppable. And that is the true meaning of Christmas and scene. So that was episode twelve. That was episode twelve. That, that was episode twelve. That was the season. That was the season. Season finale. Season Tis finale. the season. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. That was unnecessary. <laughs> um. <laughs> Great. So with these last few minutes, um, I guess it's just time to do like some some final words from everyone. I'll let you guys go first. Okay. Uh, I have a corporate sponsor. I want. I have a corporate sponsor I want to uh, introduce to everyone first. Okay. Uh, this show was brought to you by Starbucks. Starbucks, if you ever want to know what diarrhea tastes like, Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Okay. Um, perfect, perfect. So, any parting words? Parting words, whatever you want. What, like, All right. Do you want to talk um, about anything or well, guys, say something? Um, I hope the semester has been kind to you. Oh, um, sure has. And I hope that you guys get to, or anyone who's listening, all get to, to go home this semester and enjoy yourselves, breathe, relax, spend time with family and friends. I know I am. Spend the time to be kind to one another. Um, enjoy the time you have. Celebrate the end of the year. Rough year, but new year will be better. And, you know, something silver lining. Um, silver linings playbook. Uh, something, something, something dark side. You know, something, something complete. It, get, it gets better. This show, <laughs> the, show is, the show is also brought to you by Listerine. Listerine unintentionally killing people since 1986. Oh, it's got a massive amount of fluorine in it. <laughs> okay. You should not drink um, that. Well, also, if you haven't seen The Last Jedi, I highly recommend you seeing it. There's a lot of uh, back and forth criticism about the movie, but I think if you don't know how to feel about it, see it for yourself. Thank you. But what if I don't I like would agree. my own opinions? 
What? What if I don't like forming my own opinions? I just mm. want to rehash someone else's. That's up to you. Okay, cool. Just want to make sure I can still do that. Reddit is a great place for that. All right, cool. <laughs> Thank you, everyone who's listening, for tuning in this season. Um, it was certainly an adventure from the beginning of this journey to the end. Um, I, I personally had a lot of fun. Uh, I hope Michael can say the same. He'll, he's going he's to say something in a minute. Um, but it's been it's been a fun 12 episodes. I'm I'm excited going into break because I know I definitely need it. Um, but I'm also already looking forward to coming back. Uh, and so even though the show is titled, we can't promise this will be good. I, I hope I hope we I hope we did good. This this I hope this was as much fun for you guys as it was for us. Why is Zila constantly putting his arm around me? Yeah, it's just the, it's just the season, you know. Tis the season, man. Yeah, um, how it is, all that fun stuff. Oh gosh, I had so many things I wanted to say, Remember but I forgot that? all of no, them. No, um, no. I I do really want to thank everyone that's listening right now. Anyone that's listening ever in the future or has ever listened to this show. Um, this has been like something that's really gotten me through this whole semester. Um, it's something I always look forward to doing every single week or except for the weeks that we didn't do it. Um, and it's just, it has been an absolute joy to be here with Jared every week and do this show and with the guests that have come in, it's been awesome. And I really can't wait to do it again next semester and the year after that without Jared. (laughs) Um, so (laughs) <laughs> thank you seriously from the bottom of my heart thank you for listening and i hope you have enjoyed this um if you haven't why are you listening um no zila stop <laughs> stop zila is holding why up do mistletoe we have to share a mic? and ah. this is this is the way i want the show to end no, no. <laughs> with tim and zila, zila no. kissing no, 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 your no, lips no. are so perfect no <laughs> and i'm just gonna turn their mic no, off God. Um, and uh, you, now it's please. just now it's just me and Jared. Jared. Um, Jared. Yes. You have anything else you want to say? Um. Thanks for not inviting Delvin back. You're welcome. <laughs> um, Jared. I was really quite worried. Jared, thank you for doing this with me. Not a problem. Um, and yeah, I guess we'll see y'all. See y'all in 2018. Yeah, n- next you semester. Next and until then, this is Michael Kennedy and Jared Reynolds signing off. Thanks, guys. <laughs>